What is up, everybody? It's your boy Fairy Tale directing things for once because Face Travis isn't here. He decided to skip out for a little bit. We're gladly joined here with the Mister John Armstrong. There we go, like it. Oh Fresh yeah, from Cleveland, Ohio. And then there's Cody Ray. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Who Cody cares? Ray. So how are you? How are you doing, bro? How how's shit going? I'm well, man. Shit's going really well. I've had a nice uh, March. Uh, comedy is moving along. Doing all venues, big and small. Uh, yeah, I was just telling you guys off camera, I've kind of exhausted my latest date, so I got to re-up and get the shit going again. I like it. But it's, like been, it. Uh, it's been cool, man, especially this post-pandemic shit, because that pandemic sucked. There, like, no work and then working in, like, just the most obscure of places. So to actually be doing some shit. I actually started a website. Is it OnlyFans? Uh, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see how my asshole looks? She <laughs> go on the internet. <laughs> no, uh, www.johnarmstrongcomedian.com. Just a way to see dates, and I'm trying to look more familiar because uh, I was telling you I got that show at Dunlap's tonight. Uh, Ramon Rivas, and he's like a comedian. Comedian. He actually travels. He's been I got on TV you. TV and all this shit. Well, shit. I think you're a comedian. Comedian, bro. No, no. I, I know. I, I, <laughs> I'd look at myself as that, but then I see someone like Ramon who's been on Comedy Central and HBO and shit like that. I got you. And then, but he was telling me he was like, uh, cause he wanted me to do a show, and he was like, yeah, just send me whatever and then i i have no structure he was like how do you not have a website or you don't have any <laughs> clips he was like what are you doing so <laughs> I'm like, oh, like, shit. right so in the nicest of ways he was like all right dude just look if you want to actually do this dude, there's some there's some structure a little bit of tweaking around. we can do so that that got me kind of on board with doing that shit so yeah that's super fucking awesome though that like someone yeah. of his caliber i guess can help you in a way and like right? make you a better comedian that's sick right because in this in this business like i always tell people like comedy is kind of like golf it's like very individualistic like yeah. matter of fact we don't even have caddies like it's just, it's just <laughs> you, you know? like, we carry our own bags <laughs> you know don't touch my weed <laughs> <laughs> No, so when somebody does uh, take the time out and does that, it, it makes that much more of a difference, and it's super cool, you know what I mean? So, it's oh, super yeah. sick. Yeah, bro, the yeah. first time I think we uh, kind of found you and discovered you was when we went to the Bill Squire show in, uh, like, December, the like Christmas, oh, the Christmas, Christmas Kwanzaa, Kwanzaa Hanukkah, yeah. Bro, I was, yeah. I was like, who is this guy? And they're like, John, bro, I was like, I was dying, bro. You did something about R. Kelly, and I, like, spit my beer out. I was like, no way, dude. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of that, like, uh, I, I like to do, like, topical stuff. I, I loved it. I, I, I don't know. I was drawn to you more than it seemed like most. I was like, man, yeah. but Jasmine, was that what her name? Jasmine Carter. Yeah, yeah she's she from cute, here. Bro, yeah. she was hilarious. Yeah, she, uh, she's one of the ones that when I started, like, just meeting her and talking to her, you can, she's all, she's always had, like, a battery on her back, like. I knew she was going. She lives in L.A. She shoots commercials and she, she she does all this. You know, she's like big time. Her, her and this, this other young guy when I first started, uh, Marcelo Hernandez, but she's on Saturday Night Live now. And like those were the first two people that I met that I was like, Damn. those people are going somewhere because they right. not only are they funny, but they have like charisma, you know, right? Like, yeah. You can't teach that shit. You yeah. know she would mean? knock my ass out. Jasmine, bro. Oh, she yeah. would she clean was... me in one hit. Yeah. Dude. I seen them abs, bro. I was like, yeah, I was she like, no like way. Assassin, dude. Yeah, I was like, she, she I was like, and I'm hitting the ground. I saw one of her videos on Instagram and she was like explaining. She was like, everybody sees my abs and they want to know, how do you get that? She's like, it's really simple. You just, have to starve yourself. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh I'm my like, god. well, at least she's telling the truth. Yeah, right? I'm, yeah. I'm trying to lose like fucking winter, fucking Christmas weight now, and I'm starving myself, and I'm still gaining weight. I don't know how this. Damn, happened. I fucking love too, food too much, man. I could. Yeah. I don't think I could ever. I gave up on it, dude. When I was younger, my mom always said, "Well, I have a six pack. When you can have a keg, dude." I was like, "You're fucking right, dude." I'm she like, started you young. Yeah. Oh, that was she was sabotaging. You. <laughs> she was setting you up to get be she bullied. She was sabotaging you. She's, she's like, like I'm, she's like, he's gonna be fat shaming all you the, because of me. Are you the only son? No, I'm the middle one. Okay. Middle one. We have I have two brothers, one younger, okay. one older. 
I was about to say, because I'm the only son, and my mother used to tell me little fantasies like that. <laughs> <laughs> Just to make me forget oh. that I was getting my ass kicked at school. <laughs> I love you, son. You're no, it's okay. You don't deserve it. Yeah, you wear oh. your Ninja Turtle underwear to, to school. <laughs> if they tease you, that's their fault. They're not open. They don't like the Ninja Turtles. You know? Oh, my God. Yeah. I was a middle child of four. We didn't get none of them charisma talks, man. We got our ass is beat if we acted out of line once yeah i was oh the, man i was the youngest uh three two sisters and uh my shit was just uh i don't know like when you in a house full of women and you the only do like so you already sure ain't the I toughest put the guy seat down fuck it <laughs> oh fuck that Oops. that that's like that one of the things i didn't realize until i i moved out like we didn't even though i grew up in a house full of women we we didn't really have gender roles because it, you know what i mean yeah it wasn't like hey john take out the garbage and we're gonna be cooking dinner everybody, yeah. everybody did everything right <laughs> you know what i yeah. mean it wasn't no time for that shit when i got as i got older though uh my mother used to do little shit like uh, like when you're 11 or 12 in the car and you get to the gas station like, all right, you want to pump gas for mom? And I'm like, I sure do. And Fuck like, yeah. yeah. That was like a... Little mama's boy shit. I don't even know how to describe that feeling. Like when you got asked to pump the gas as a kid, bro, I felt like big dog shit, man. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, I could go in and pay too? Fuck it. Smelling the gas on your Yeah, I might as well let me be whipping Ooh. it too. I swear to God. <laughs> Yeah. So did you know from an early age that you wanted to get into comedy, be a comedian? Dude, I always wanted to do it, but it was something I, I, I didn't take serious just because it didn't seem like it was feasible. It seemed like just so far-fetched, you know what I mean? Uh, the, the analogy I always use is like if you, be like, if, if you tell people you want to be an astronaut. Right. It's like you can do it, but like... It's nine like, point yeah. nine out time nine point nine times people are gonna look at you just like grow the fuck up really <laughs> an ast- like you an astronaut so but the thing that made me uh finally do it was just like working shitty jobs man and then over time always being like the silly guy and like and you joking in your friend group and then people be like oh that was funny where'd you hear that and you're like i just made yeah. it up you know yeah. and then on top of that like as time keeps going past and you like, well, I'm getting older. I would rather fail at something I want to do. Right. You know what I mean? Then be than miserable. succeed at these stupid-ass jobs that right. I don't fucking like. Right, that and you don't want to do. I feel that a thousand percent. After that, I just started fucking running towards it, man. How long you been doing comedy? I'm about to hit seven years here in any day now. It's at the end of March. is my, my anniversary. Heck, yeah. Damn, you throwing a party or something? No, yeah, dude. I, I I want to, man. You I'm bored to. now. Like, <laughs> I, I feel bad because I uh, I um, I I want to, but but it's one of those. It's that Dunning Kruger shit. Like the more you learn, the more you know you don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah, like right. naiveness is on your side. Yeah. But the more like okay, oh, I, okay, I need to do this. Or like I was talking about with the website, how Ramon was teaching me how to do stuff with that and then the more knowledge you soak into that then you then you just climb over a mountain and then you just see another mountain range right it, do, it doesn't make you want to stop right it makes you want to keep going it makes you want to be like hey what's over there but it's just yeah <laughs> but it's just also very humbling like like i thought i had this figured out 10 mountains ago <laughs> you right. know what i mean <laughs> like damn and this is the same a, shit i'm seeing yeah and i'm fucking <laughs> staring at the rocky mountains right now so yeah it's it's dude it's awesome it's the it's the best job in the world, too. That's so fucking sick. That's I would I want to get into it. I just don't have the, I guess the confidence. Oh, uh, but can... I'm like I'm cool with being like, you know, the silly guy and the friend in the crowd, yeah. you know. But like I don't know. I think it's like once I get up on stage, like I'll shit my pants again. Well, we all shit our pants on stage. <laughs> you just keep going. You just keep going. You got to be like that baby in Walmart that shit on itself but still is like, I'm here for candy. <laughs> yeah. I don't <laughs> care if I smell like shit. Bro, no. I don't think it's the, I don't even care if I smell, man. It's like once you like get to walking, bro, that's like the warmness and yeah, stuff. That's yeah. when I'm like, nah, I squish, can't do it. Squish, squish. Yeah, bro. It's like, damn, my shoe's going to be soaked. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's it's definitely like you got to. I guess the nerves thing the first couple of times getting over that. But after that, it's just, 
It's just doing it. The way I always describe it, like sex, you know what I mean? Like, Mm -hmm. you could be very intimidated to talk to a certain type of woman and try to get with her and date her and all this other shit. But once you lose your virginity, you ain't go stop fucking. (laughs) No matter how nervous you are, it's going to still be hard. It's not saying that you're going to be fucking all the time. But you ain't quitting, right? Yeah, <laughs> you know? I ain't, yeah. So it, it's it's like that, and and uh, I used to be uh, when I was young, like painfully shy around women. You anyway. still look young, bro. What you mean? Used to be young, dude. I'm I'm Benjamin Button right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Benjamin Button door. Living his life in reverse. Yeah, you know. I fuck with that. But yeah, it's uh, it's just something. Uh, it's it's so fun, dude. And even when it goes bad, it's a learning experience. Like, ooh, I don't want that to happen again. <laughs> Do you have a specific time of like you remember, like, yo, like I I bombed, like I, I was like, yo, like it was it. Yeah, it's a lot of those, but the one that that one of the ones that sticks out. Yeah, like one that sticks out the most. I started at Funny Stop in Cuyahoga Falls, and I would only go there. So I would only go there, and then the the next stage that I went to after that, the it was the second venue that I had ever been to. It was Grog Shop, which is in Cleveland Heights, in Cleveland. Uh, and uh, at the time, John Bruton, which he still runs that room, but I, he has Kevin Ford hosting it. But it was John Bruton and Nelson Davis, and they would host it. And it's like a, a funky room, concert right. venue, so like a lot of rock and rap shows there. So it's just. One of those rooms where you could just feel like you the could have like a wedding and, rehearsal dinner there, yeah. and then you could well, have a funky a one. It's, it's like it's a <laughs> funky place. It's one of the places you would rather shit outside than shit in the bathroom. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> like, shit. There's literally no door. <laughs> oh man, you gotta hover over the seat. Oh pray yeah, it dude. Like yeah, it's gonna be like it's just a, a spray. But no, so <laughs> the first time I did that one. I was on stage and that was the first time like I blacked out on stage like as far not like pass out but as far as like you're doing your routine and everything just you forget everything and I'm just like ah, hey what's up <laughs> women be shopping <laughs> like but and and it probably was only like honestly like 3 to 5 seconds but in your head since you're on stage that it was like an eternity and then and I, w- I didn't know how to recover. So then right. I, so then once I remember what I wanted to say, I'm like, it's just a bunch of backtracking. Blah, 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 blah. And it was, I don't even remember how the rest of the set went. It was just very out of body. I was just watching myself eat a bag of dicks. <laughs> and then I went home and I was fucking depressed, dude. It was, it was, I hadn't felt that bad. And Damn. I can't remember. But even through that, I still didn't want to quit. I was just like I. I was like, dude, that could never happen again. Right. Right. You which, like? Which there it. were worse bombs after that, but <laughs> it's like the more you get used to it, it's it's it doesn't it doesn't take the wind out of you as much. It still hurts, but it doesn't. It just doesn't take the wind out of you as much. You, you're just like, how how can I attack this different so that that thing doesn't happen? I got you. Oh, yeah, Grog Shop. That me in the <laughs> Fuck that place. Dick, right. No, no. Then, Grog, Grog then, Shop's awesome. Then, but yeah, right yeah. now you're cool. You're cool, I guess. Yeah, you got to pass. Yeah, we just did a show <laughs> there uh, this past Monday. Grog Shop, though. I always tell uh, John Bruton that that room outside of um, the big clubs, which is in Cleveland, Improv and Hilarities, that was one of my favorite ones to work just because... Uh, Cause so many of these uh, rooms that you do comedy in outside of a club, you'll be in a bar, dude, and, you, and it it'll be people just watching the game at the bar, and then they'll set up a microphone stand in the corner, and they'll just toss you the mic, like, "All right, here you go, go make these people laugh who just got off work and thought they were coming here to watch the <laughs> game." And you're like, "Guess again, women be shopping." <laughs> and then they just, so I, I at least appreciate any space. That is a room that has a stage and a sound system and right. a lighting system because you'd be surprised how rare that is. I would definitely. I'm like them places, like you know the grungy places. They always yeah. have banging food, though. Yeah, they always do. And not just that, but like I said, it's they don't have food there, but it's it's like it's on Coventry, so it's food all around it, so you ain't gonna starve. Right. And it's a concert venue, so those places just like. 
it's you can feel the energy in there. Like even this podcast studio you guys got, just walking in here, it's an energy. You know what I mean? Right, like right. this ain't just like some popped up tent. You we got can, crystals hidden everywhere to have the energy. <laughs> <laughs> we you crystal can tell bitches shit goes down in this basement, man. Like we're doing it. Have you? Uh, <laughs> have you? Are you single? Are you? You got no, a lady? No, I'm. I'm. I'm hitched. I, uh, me and my girl have been together. For a minute now. I'm That's a awesome, serial bro. Serial monogamous, yeah. She's actually the one who got me in the comedy, cause I was all like dejected and and oh, my life sucks and all that shit. Listening to Green Day and shit, you know. Just, <laughs> and she was like, um, and I had always wanted to do comedy, but I I I did like two half-ass attempts like years ago where I tried to look up something. I was like, well, I guess there's nowhere in. Ohio to do comedy, so I'll just go back to work. And then I had got fired from this job. What would you do? I was I nothing. I was uh, I worked at this restaurant, and it was this high end steak restaurant. And they used to do this thing. They had like they called secret shoppers. They were literally what? paid people to come in, and then eat, but judge their uh, as a server. They would judge your kind of like some undercover boss. Yes. Bro, oh, what? That shit's real? Yes. And what? but here's the thing. Uh uh I they call it getting shopped. I got shopped like twice within a week. And both of the people, like they said they really liked me and I didn't but the one of the things that I did wrong, which was like so against company policy, is uh after dinner's over. Cause this is like some highfalutin steak. My boy get the leftovers. After after dinner's over, you're supposed to ask him, "Would you like the lava cake? We have a delicious lava cake." Oh, and I, and I didn't, oh, dessert and shit. Yeah, and I didn't ask him for dessert, and that's like that takes off like. Oh a million shit, that's points. rude. Oh. Yeah, dude. <laughs> that's rude. To yeah. Them. <laughs> so I'm I was like what a server fuck? and a bartender there. So those were the days I was serving. So one day I had went in for my bar shift, and it's before we're open. So I'm going in and I'm starting to set up. And I'm going towards the bar, and all the managers and everybody there in the dining room. And They're it's, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And everybody's, yeah, everybody's sitting at the table. It's and like I'm an joking. intervention. Yeah, I'm joking. I'm like, what's going on? Did I just get fired? And then nobody said anything. And they was like, can you come here? And I was like, <laughs> so I got fired, dude. So, dude, no. so after all that, I, I went home, and I was all dejected. And then my girl... She was like, well, you know, you know, you want to do comedy? I was like, there's nowhere to do it. And then she looked on her phone. She's like, bat. Yep. Mm. 30 seconds later. Here's a competition mm. at Cuyahoga Falls at the Funny Stop. And it was on ever since. Hell yeah. That's dude. fucking sick. That's Hell a sick yeah. story, though, bro. Yeah, dude. That's sick. Yeah. It's testament to how lazy I was, too. <laughs> <laughs> I've definitely done that, though. For self, like, yeah. Just self-defeated and, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I think I'm just like, I get like, when I get defeated, I get like pissed off and I'm like, man, I'm just tired of this. And I just like, you know, I talk to myself. I'll give myself oh, one of them yeah. little shitty talks. I don't look in the mirror or nothing because I'm like, that's weird. But I'm like, I'm going to be like, all right, you know, looking down at after I beat my dick for the ninth time, I'm like, this got to <laughs> stop, man. I was like, I got to do something in my life. <laughs> you know, the old pick yourself up. I, I've had that. that I've had that. With, with, Caught myself with, with my pussy, dick in my hand yeah. too many times, man. I was like, hey, man, this is only a day and I'm going on nine times. It's five o'clock. When your I dick gets mad at you, yeah. just like, just like you fucking animal. Get out of the house. <laughs> Attempt to talk to a woman, John. Please, you fucking loser. Have you had some like women hit you up and stuff, bro, since like, you know, doing comedy and stuff? Yeah, it's funny. Bro, uh, <laughs> they got to have the craziest, like, they're blunt about it. They got to the business, be. we call those chuckle fuckers. <laughs> chuckle fuckers? <laughs> the comedy like, groupies. Hey, yo, that's, that's, that's Lacey, bro. Yeah. She got that wagon on her. <laughs> you know? yeah, it's like anything else. Like, I'm in a relationship, so, of course, I'm not looking at it. But, right. But the other part of it, too, is from a man's ego all men go through this that like our time that women didn't talk to us right and then for whatever reason when they do want to say they're something like to you, oh hey so so part of it is like yay validation but the other part is fuck you bitch like yeah like i'm just you know i'm i was just some silly asshole on stage you don't give a fuck about i got you know i don't even mean? have like women that reach out for the podcast it's it's men <laughs> a strong attraction to me big male and they will like dm our page and like ask about me ask if i have an only fans how big my wiener is and they f i just want it to grow in my mouth can you, can, can you do that <laughs> bro it, like and even when they message me personally you know i won't like i'll read it and like i'm like holy shit and i'll screenshot it and send it in the room like guys like 
guys are more vulgar than women, it seems oh, like. Yeah, I'm like, they're dude. like, hey, I want to see your dick. Well, and the, and the thing about it is, is, is the testosterone, man. Like, we, Oh, uh, yeah. It's a bro I mean? thing, I yeah, think. Yeah, it's the testosterone. And then I almost want to give in because it's a bro, but I'm like, hey, I know they're yeah. going to get some pleasure off of this. One dude offered up a PS5, didn't they? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, <laughs> PS5. Okay, so no touching, but like, what if it was just like, hey, a couple poses, these pictures won't get out. Oh, I yeah. show somebody my dick with Shit. PS5. Oh yeah, I would. I would I dress up like boring. a firefighter. I've I would. Send, I've sent dick pics for the last. I'm taking my dick up like an I'm elephant. Saying, oh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I'd send dick pics for hope. For <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, yeah just I throwing them my... out like smoke signals, hoping somebody in the next time. Like season. hey. I put head dog. I would make my my dick and balls like a space shuttle. Like I would go to that extent for a PS5, knowing it won't get out. Oh, I think it was more. I think he wanted more than just a PS5. <laughs> yeah, honestly, now that you bring that up, I do think it was a lot more. Well, you got to do like the women do us. You got to just kind of string them along. Like, oh, like here, yeah. here's a picture. You know what I mean? Like, hey, and like, then, and then like maybe meet up for a drink, and like, then like, oh, oh my god, my stomach hurts so bad. Sorry, I gotta get out of here. But I'm already. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm gonna go to the bathroom quick and leave out the window. That type of shit. Uh, Stick them with the bill and all too. <laughs> I mean, the, oh, that okay. I, that, that's a he's like, that's a little fucked up. <laughs> he's like, you already leaving them, bro. You can at least wanna, uh, cash half them ten bucks or something. Yeah, broke in. That's a dangerous combo, dude. You have him banging up. <laughs> you go to all extents, bro. That nut matters more than life itself you when know. you're going through it, bro. Oh, my God. Yeah. Masturbation has saved me from many a shitty hookup. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, let, let's let's clear the pipes and then see how we feel. <laughs> and then you're like, oh, thank God I did that. <laughs> oh, it's like, it's that post not clarity, man. Yeah, dude. Like, women think that men, uh, a lot of us are like assholes or we don't. No, it, it really is like you get your brain is somewhere mm-hmm. else and you come down off that shit. I used to describe it like uh, either a werewolf or an incredible <laughs> hawk when you turn back. We don't yeah. know what the fuck we did. Yeah, you know we just I mean? did it, man. You, you it just scroll happened. through your phone like, God damn. Yeah. You wake Good up. thing she didn't text back in time. Holy shit. Yeah. yeah. You wake oh up my in God. a room full of dead bodies and blood, and you're just <laughs> what did I do? It's like, oh, man, did I drink last night? I'm sorry. <laughs> you just man, run back bro, to your own town bro, I've... naked, holding your pants <laughs> like Bruce Banner. <laughs> like... <laughs> holding your ass and all, bro. Dude, I've had a situation where I... You know, she texted back quicker than I could get done. And, Ooh. bro. Oh, so you were, you were right there. Bro, like, yeah. I was, like, at werewolf point. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I was, like, yeah. You know, I smell blood. <laughs> I don't know. good either because you showing up hair trigger. So just, mm-hmm. so, so I'm showing she, up. I'm already. So she touch it. I'm hard, like, bah, 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 I'm hard bah, bah, on the drive bah, 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 over, you know. I'm keeping it. I'm uh, keeping it looking good. Yeah. No. It was, you know, it was stinky. Those are fun though. Cause it was very fun because I like woke my buddy up. I was like, "Smell it." And he's oh like, "Bro, God. did you stick that finger in your ass?" I was like, "No, it was another girl's ass." <laughs> Oh, oh bro. those are those ones you build up. Where you 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 you, you dick get hard and go down enough times where you just build up a reservoir of semen. So 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 when it's you like, finally do it's bust, like, it's like it's like an everlasting super set. It's just the bukkake, like, and even she's bukkake. surprised. She's like, oh my god! It's like chugging a gallon of milk, just slipping upside yes. down. It's like bloop, yes. Bloop. yes. What is happening? Yeah. Oh my god, like them OG Mudbone videos. You know who OG Mudbone is. Everybody's got to know OG Mudbone. I don't know who that is. Oh, oh. <laughs> he's like the guy that would yell at the. <laughs> I've heard the name before. Bro, he has like. Yeah, this dong is literally like this, this big, bro. Like, I shit you not. It looks like three baby arms put together. Oh my god. And he's. Oh my god. And he nuts. He like yells while he's doing it. I don't know if it hurts or it feels good, but it's like a gallon, bro. Oh, like, I think I've probably turns, seen this turns, guy, but I've seen this before. He turns white girls into fucking glazed donuts. Yes, I've seen this before. Toaster shirt. Yes. I just, I never knew his name. <laughs> oh Holy yeah, shit. bro. Travis, fuck him, who's not here. He like traumatized me because... He's like my one of my childhood best friends. Yeah. And we decided to do this shit during COVID. But yeah, man, in high school, he's like, you know who OG Mudbone is? And I was like, is it a, like a dog bone? 
He's like, let me educate you. It's probably the size of like oh, a giant St. Bernard dog bone. Oh, probably. Like, dude, I've learned my lesson with, the, with that type. Nobody showed me no videos. Like, let me show you this. Bro, he showed me all kinds of shit like that. One guy, one jar, or a glass in a jar. I got, bro. yeah, that, that early 2000s shit. Bro. All that, the, that two girls, one cup, <clears throat> all bro. those beheadings yes. and shit. Bro, I don't want to see nobody's you know, fucking. Like, no, I don't want to see two girls somewhere. eat poop. I don't care yeah, how hot yeah. they are. Yeah, fuck that. that what is gross. Yeah. I'm too much of a pervert to. I, I like <laughs> pussy too much to yeah, see bro. a woman eating shit dude like, yeah i'm like don't make me not like women because of yeah, that i'm like yeah. i already don't like the fact you poop i'd be eating your booty and shit yeah don't I, make it don't make me want to regret kissing you because you eating your own shit yeah that's like if they want to eat your butt but like you like you ain't fresh out of the shower it's like whoa i want to respect you dear. like this <laughs> you ever get your booty ate oh dude that's been years it's been years oh but it's been done oh yeah Come on, how man. would you describe the feeling would you recommend Okay, so here's the thing. It's uh, it's for a man since we're used to being the 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 giver. Yeah. Like to be, you have to be ready for a, an amount of being vulnerable, but I, that I don't think a lot of men are ready for. <laughs> it's breaking down like some walls. It's, it's 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 so it's it's too it's too vulnerable, dude. You you if. I, I'll put it this way. <laughs> eating ass to me is argument. not a casual thing. Right. I can't casually eat or get my ass eaten. Yeah. It's, there's got to be... Special occasion. It's got to be love involved or something like But <laughs> I can't casually just... Plus, I, I had a joke about that. I was doing how uh, this generation of men is the first generation to get uh, blowjobs with their legs in the air. <laughs> <laughs> that I think that's where I would draw the line, though, bro. I can't look like a baby getting his ass wiped, but I'm getting my booty. Well, in. it's like when you watch a lot of porn now, it's like that. And a dude, he'll be getting some top from yeah. some girl, and then and he's then like, she'll, like lift all every... right. She'll, yeah, yeah. he'll... Put him in the same position that he's about to put you in. Yeah. It's like weird. Baby he's like, needs to be changed. It's like, it's like the bridge is rising. It's does like, all right. It, does that make it feel better when your legs are elevated? Or? I don't well, know. Well, I, I think it's the just. Blood your blood flow backwards. I think <laughs> you're just God. being a, um, what, what do you call it? A, 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 a conscious lover. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being a, a conscious lover. Oh, man, bro. Yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing. Uh like the shit that, uh, <laughs> pun intended, that a lot of uh, women will do. I mean, God bless them, but yeah, but yeah, that's what, that's another thing too. Like, I never had that friend group of like friends who all fuck the same girls. Oh, bro, <laughs> I never had that. So. I mean, Travis and fuck the same women. Oh, uh, y'all pass them well, around. Just uh, just like one or two. Okay, two, I believe, is the number. Were y'all like, <laughs> what was it? Were y'all really? cool with the girls or was it just casual like like was uh, it like i loved her or was it no just like... i think they were both casual okay, like the okay, one okay. were like i was super hammered and i called him right after i was like bro i told myself i'd never do it and i did it and he's like ah welcome to the club bro and i was yeah. like jeez the old eskimo brothers yeah, yeah. but not no i've one. had that working in restaurants like uh just because it's so incestuous everyone's fucking everybody yeah, bro it's crazy yeah. you think like doctor's offices be like that too it's got to be everywhere they gotta be like gray's anatomy they, oh yeah there's gotta, gotta be real be. i think any high stress job is like that you know what i mean yeah, yeah. like when, when you're when you're uh, a cook when you're a doctor that that Officer cop bitch in what was Nashville. it North or South Carolina yeah. or whatever Tennessee yeah it Tennessee was, was it yeah but either way she was like it was like a porn it was like this little white girl and all these black dudes yeah she was <laughs> auditioning for the it was let like alone she, play the scene in real I think life. she would have she would have won the competition if she was on the casting couch but well didn't it come out that her her husband was a cop too and I I think they had an arrangement. But I think what happened, like most shit like that, <laughs> kind of like Will Smith, is like uh, the, it'll be like these arrangements, like uh, behind closed doors. But once it gets out in the public, so he he to save face, he had to be like, "Hey, honey, that's yeah, that's horrible. That's too I can't many believe dicks. you did that." To me. <laughs> you know? well, I was cool with two or three. Yeah. For now. Meanwhile, he was in the corner, like, "Yeah." <laughs> I always said, bro, I'm like, if you were like a cock, bro, I'd be like, you can't finish before like he finishes with your wife i'm like oh hey. no i'm like then you're just sitting there yeah, like, now you're just sitting there pissed weird. off the whole time yeah. it's like, like go for round two that's like, just embarrassing like why is this guy 
fucking my wife right now, man. And then the level of stamina, like he lasted longer in the pussy than you lasted with, with your, your hand. With your own hand? That's, yeah, that's. That's a different. Yeah, bro. I don't know. I, I think I'd be ready to fight. And then she's making noises that you haven't heard before. Like, hey, yo, putting what? her in all type of positions. Yeah, yeah, like, hey, you never let me do that. Point. And then she starts squirting. And, I didn't know you were a squirter. I didn't know either. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've had I've had that. Um, I've, I've talked about this with a couple of our friends before. I've had uh, a few girl squirters. But yeah, bro. It's it was, crazy. But it was always after. What what do you mean after like 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 I was hooked up with him and everything was good and then like you keep talking to him and then like you find out like months or a year or something I'm a squirter oh my god I just <laughs> found out and I'm like oh yeah oh man okay. so I started calling myself the pussy whisperer like <laughs> like if you want to learn how to squirt just fuck me and then go fuck somebody after me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll get your pussy just to that point, and then you just r- I'll put in enough quarters in that slot machine. He's like, and then when that one guy comes over, like, it's like the jackpot, yes. Charlie Sheen, man. Yeah, dude, I'm the banging, pussy whisperer, banging man. seven gram rocks. I got one speed. Want to make Let's your go. girl squirt? Just give her my mediocre dick, and then you take her back and. She'll turn into Bro, a the waterfall. first time I ever experienced squirting, I was like 19. And it was like, I was like, what was that? It like hit me in the face, the chest. I was like, bro, I was like, she just pissed everywhere, but she was like making these noises. I was like, that's not piss. Yeah. And then, you know, I so, dabbled so in the porn. Some por- of it's pee. <laughs> yeah, I, dab- I dabbled in the porn enough to know. I was like, yeah, this bitch squirting. Yeah, this uh, this girl uh, did it on my car seat. <laughs> but yeah, she hit me with that too. I didn't think about it. I didn't know I could score it. I was like, yeah. damn. Yeah. I was yeah, like, damn. See, she was fucking some dude like me beforehand, and then she got to you, King yeah. Kong. Appreciate you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Set you up, baby. <laughs> that's my that's a real wingman that's, right there. That's, that's a real wingman, bro. <laughs> Damn. It's like, look, I, I'm not going to do anything substantial to her pussy. I'm just going to get her to a certain point, and then you just come in like the Calvary and just the Calvary. <laughs> beat up that bladder till it just. <laughs> so, do you have any favorite spots you like to perform? Like, every time, like, say, like a venue comes up, be like, yeah, I'm going there a thousand percent. Uh, yeah, I think it varies, but uh, basically, like, I mean, hilarities and improv are the big ones in Cleveland. And I always tell people those are like Coke and Pepsi. They're the same, but they're different. Right. Uh, Hilarities is a more mainstream room, so you could say like a white room. And then improv's like the black room. So all the big black acts like um, like uh, Tony Rock and D.L. Hughley. And oh, just, I saw Tony Rock was going to be there and like right. DC Young Fly. Right. So like Mike Epps. Uh huh. So all these, all, all the like the well known black acts, Bro, they'll go Mike through. Mike Epps is so fucking funny. Yeah, they'll go through improv and then all the you get black acts that go through hilarities and you get white people like Michael Rappaport just came through improv, but for all intents and purposes. Yeah, no. So Gary I, Owen. Yeah. I like yeah, I like working both of them, but um, if you work hilarities too long, you want to work improv. If you I work improv you. too long, you want to work hilarities. So I like to toggle between both of those because it keeps you sharp. Because if you if you do too much mainstream. Um, rooms then you get kind of you know what's the deal with the airplane peanuts yeah. <laughs> and then if you do uh <clears throat> like being any comic but especially being black you want to be able to work like uh black urban rooms whatever you want to call it but if you do if that's all you do then your cadence can get like man these bitches be tripping like you know yeah, what i mean right. like so you got to kind of <laughs> To to it's it's like um it's like playing any sport you know if you can only dribble to your right after a round you got to learn how to dribble to your left you right. know what I mean yeah so, I got you so it's it's just that type of thing but they're both fun because they uh they just challenge you and when I first started working both of them like uh the audience was just crossed arms and just <laughs> make me laugh so when you to finally <laughs> yeah. crack that. That, right. that nut <laughs> to finally crack <laughs> that nut is like it feels good. So uh, I think those are my so far those have been my favorites to work. And then the the and just when you do get a big laugh because those outside of the one that Chris McQuanza Hanukkah those are I think yeah like a four hundred probably the most people four hundred ish. That's up. super sick. 
But but yeah, like when you get a laugh from that, and, it's and like, like the roar. Do you have like a best moment on stage? Like you remember, like you're like that was like the you first know. time that happened. Actually, I was in this comedy competition. This was at the Improv in Pittsburgh. Now that one's just a mainstream club, so it didn't have a racial one way or another type of thing. But that was the first time I was new enough in it in the game that like I had got laughs, but and I and I had. I had my jokes that I knew that worked, you know what I mean? But that was the first time, like, I was up, and I'm just doing this set that I've done, like, a million times, and I throw this joke out, and the laugh was way bigger than I thought I would get, and it was just, like, and it, it literally, like, kind of washed over you, and I was just, like... Did it kind of, like, lift you up and, like... Yeah, dude, Everything's got to hit harder then. Yeah, yeah. Damn, that's sick. Yeah, dude, it's the first time she takes... The dick out her mouth and starts sucking your balls. You're like, whoa! Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know they could, they're going yeah, there too. You're like, you're like, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> so it was like that. Like, like I, I I knew I was here for this, but I didn't know I was here for this. Right. You know I, I didn't mean? know I was going to get a special treat. Right. That's sick though, dude. Yeah. So it's it, a lot of that. It, and it's uh, I don't know. Like when you're coming up with these jokes and you're either standing in the car or in the shower or in the mirror or whatever the fuck we practice these by ourselves, like you think you know where some of the punchlines are and you try to build around that. But then when you get it out there and that thing that you thought was funny, they think is funny too. And especially those rare times when they think it's funnier than even what you were thinking. You're right. Like, oh my God. <laughs> right, like them laughing, crying moments. Yeah, dude, it, it just becomes it just becomes this whole other life of its own, and it's it's just awesome, man. That's so fucking dope, bro. Yeah, dude, it's it's oh, a, man, it's a great gross. feeling. But you, again, like you know, it don't always happen. Like that. Right, <laughs> you uh, so you live in Cleveland then? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm in uh, uh Lakewood, which is just uh, oh like, yeah, okay. Well, it's suburb west of Cleveland. You but, could add a, a best, like, your number one go-to food spot in Cleveland? Oh, dude, there's so many. Like, it's a million places to get fed at. Uh, one of the places I really love, uh, they got this, like, right in downtown, just a little east of downtown. They call it Asia Town. It's all these, like, Asian restaurants That's where we fucking stayed. I think we did stay there. Yeah. We stayed there when we went. <laughs> dude, go to, go to this noodle shop called LJ Shanghai. They have like these things they call soup dumplings. It's dumplings, and you bite into it, and all this like hot ass soup and shit comes what? out. What? Like, they and put soup in the dumpling? It's fucking weird, man. If you see people make them, it's actually the trick to it is you make like the soup or the broth or whatever. But I guess there is a certain amount of like gelatin or whatever in it. So when you when you uh, not freeze it, but when you chill it, it kind of gels down. Okay. So you could literally get the dough and put the little cube in there and wrap it. And then so when you steam it, it all comes together. Damn, you know what I mean? Bro, you're going to have to show me how to do it. You already seem like well, no. I don't, well, I ain't making this hey, shit. shit. These motherfuckers it. making it. <laughs> we can do it together. Come on, man. But, it, but that, that's, that's, like a, that's a cool like just spot. And then, of course, like late night, if you're in Tremont, get some Edison's Pizza. Oh, uh, Edison's got the bomb. They got the the thick pepperoni cups that kind of curl up, what? so all, all the grease pools into what? the. What? And then they, and they're one of the ones who do the honey on the pizza. So you got the cups with the grease and the honey and all Look at that this. Shit. Speaking of honey, this motherfucker looks like a little bit of honey. Yeah, a little little bumblebee shirt. looking. Keep killing the episode. Bitch. Look at your oh. Matthew McConaughey. Bully him for his red hair. No Jeez. one will be bullied here. This is a safe space. Not no more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you? Damn, you need to get your drip in line, bro. John pulled up in the forces looking crazy. Oh, I, pulled dude, up, oh. I pulled up in the Mario spots. Yeah. I know, I peeped, I peeped a little, little bit of bleach. Hey, they're still clean, though. Still clean. I was walking Cody through. Ray pulled up in the Air Maxes. I pulled up in the Mario 97s. There you go. You know what I'm saying? And Travis is in the... I pulled up in the Hey Dudes. He's in the... Hey, dude. Uh, I thought it was falling. How you doing? How you doing? Yo, I'm good, man. Damn, you right, smell man. good. You sprayed that's some shit. For today's episode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in. <laughs> Busting my ass out there just to join your hooligans. What's up? How's the Damn. episode going? How's everybody Damn. doing? Damn. He, doing was just, well. he was just giving us some banging food spots. He was talking about this pizza place, you know, to go for a late night treat. And I was about to tell him the story how I was set on the, what was the sub place? I don't know. Fuck. It's a sub place, right? Uh, House of Blues. Oh, uh... It's a deli shop. Sandwiches. Marquis or something. No. Oh, are, we, are we talking about this story Yep, again? I'm oh. telling it again. Is he really House got of Blues? Tunnels? He does. 
I don't even now. I gotta go. I don't even know what you're talking about. Man, it was like next to House of Blues. Yeah, because yeah, we it was right next to us. It was in like that little yeah. alley. We went out. We went out. We were trying to figure out a spot to eat and shit. And we were asking Jay because we were with Jay that night. And mm. uh, while we were walking out, fuck. So he Jay, was trying to get away Jay from us, and I was telling them, he he, "Dog, substance. he's trying to leave. Let's go get food. That's what he's on." I was like, "Take the hint, guys." <laughs> fuck. Well, I was just trying to get food. He's like pizza, and I said, "I, I remember being around circle. Oh, and I go, bro. pizza sound good as fuck." And I was like, "No, and then guys." Cody Ray goes, oh, "Pizza do sound kind of good." And Nick in the back goes, "No, hey, man, we got some subs though." I was like, "No, no man." I was like, "Hey, right I on the, I was like, "Hey, bro, I on the prize, man." We walked like two, like a mile and a half. Just merged together and went to pizza. And the whole time walking down the sidewalk, Nick goes, the fucking subs are back here, dog. <laughs> Bro, and no, and when he up. says we, it wasn't we. Jay left. We left and walked to go get pizza that we had. Uh, we didn't even get pizza that night. Yeah. Long story short, we didn't get anything we that night. And I starved. Pizza places didn't get oh, bro. Pizza. Didn't get not oh, one. Because they were all like taking forever. It was like over an hour. Yeah, yeah. that then, is the thing. Once it get late at night, it's Hunger Games. Dude. And then like, literally, <laughs> like we were worried, literally Hunger Games. <laughs> and we were Bro. worried about like getting back to our place too. Or, like because Uber something. quit Ubering at three. Edison's would do that shit too. It'll be over an hour. Edison's and then the other good one in Lakewood is Angelo's. They got. Bomb pizza Damn, too. that sounds good, bro. Angelo, that sounds yeah. Italian as fuck. That's a name you could trust. That's yeah, sure. dude. Hell yeah, I name. trust him with my life insurance money. With my life insurance type of place where we cutting up bodies in the kitchen. Oh no, and get a banging <laughs> meatball. Hey, little gabagool. <laughs> the gabagool, the queen, of, the king of gabagool, right behind you on the hey. water. <laughs> I think I think that might be my favorite emoji. Now I use it so much. Dog. So it's just that. It's like bro, you know, or the chef's kiss. Oh, I fucking love that one. Uh, this one kind of, to me, doubles for, uh, like, uh, wee beginner wee. fisting. You know, <laughs> when you can't, like, just you get can't it in, like, away. you got to kind of, like, coax it in. and then I hate that I've done that before. Every, we, that. we all have that. It's funny. And then shit, well, well, like, once, like, once you breach the knuckles, that's you when you, you're doing it. You're like, yeah, like, yeah. yeah, just get a dirty little guy, ain't you? Yeah. Oh, he's like, hey, yo, I think I feel... You, the you first time that happened, I snatched it out because I'm like, no, you ain't about to get used to that level of girl. <laughs> <laughs> I was always thinking about that. You get to that moment, you're like, look at yourself as a third person. Yeah. Like, what the fuck are you yeah. doing yeah. to this girl right now? Fuck you're like no. clawing. Hell no, I ain't going to make her want that, bro. Bro, I'm pa- I'm not packing what I can. You know, this ain't as big as that. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna give you an offer you can't. This refuse. ain't as big as that. Is you that know, my fist said? ain't as wide as what you know. You know what I'm trying to say. Bro. No, I don't at all. I thought my you fist just said your cock was bigger than your hand. No, my like, fist is sorry. not as. <laughs> My fist ain't as girth, you know, my cock ain't as girthy as this. Announced that he has a pop can in his jeans. (laughs) No, no. (laughs) The comments, bro. Dog, I was just going to say, you got Facebook wild. I was telling him about that. Now you got... There's a That's high demand for you with our OnlyFans now. Bro. After your dude, auction. get that four local can out there, man. <laughs> the internet want to see it, dude. Bro, <laughs> there's this comment. Shake up that can of four local. Let's see what's in it. I'm going to open it. It's going to be like, what's that can? <laughs> this shit pop up. No, what was that comment, dude? We had this lady comment on our thing. She's like. This girl was, said she was down to pay for some. She's never wanted to have an OnlyFans more in her life. No, the comment about church, bro. Oh my god. Oh, I sent you this. Other, uh, <laughs> bro, videos, I left so on our videos hard. prior. Sometimes ads will pop up depending if Facebook yeah. allows us to or not. <laughs> and somebody goes in and goes, "You won't believe this, but there was actually an ad for a church and like how I need to find prayer before I saw this video." <laughs> and, I'm like, and then it pops in, and Nick goes, "You ever just grab your scrotum and try and like catch yes. it with your butt cheeks?" <laughs> yeah. I'm like, "Oh my god, they saw this and like everybody needs to get pushed to church." As soon as you're about to see this video, they know you need Bro, to. I swear They're to like, God. All right, we're all about free speech, but before you hear this, just know that the Lord Jesus is your Savior. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord's about to watch you watch Just the know the next <laughs> motherfucker that knocks on your door, open it and listen to uh, him. Hear him out. Lend an ear. The Lord is your Savior. Now watch this young man suck his own dick. <laughs> <laughs> the world is no longer a uh, safe place. So wait, let's go back to this girl who uh, wanted to pay for OnlyFans. Did we, did we get to see her face? Because I don't trust anyone. I didn't even know about sex. this. Oh, we saw. I saw. I saw her page. 
Sorry, well, what was what, what she? Was she wanted she me to have an OnlyFans. I plead the fifth. Oh no, I I plead the fifth. Don't make me slam somebody like that. She well, wanted, well, well, I'm, I'm, you, I'm not. You can I'm do not it a good going, Christian I'm way. I'm not going extremes like super hot versus super ugly. But I'm saying, was there was there a Goldilocks zone of pussy? There? What I'd say, what I'd say, <laughs> if you were the range of like value of date for this person, I'd say like I'd take a, a nice hot dog stand, but like a decent one, or like at least you okay. get a good you hot can get dog. A, you can get a cutting Right. You just keep on walking. Maybe with a the park person. bench next to it. Not, <laughs> right, right, right. not, not a New York, not like New York hot dog stand. Like it's good shit. They'll pop you in or something good. No, this is like they got. This is the three a.m. hot Ever dog glizzy stand before the glizzy. No. <laughs> the glizzy goddess. There'd be one glizzy involved in that. <laughs> the glizzy goblin. And you just watch her eat it. Like how many bites? How many <laughs> bites does it take? Oh my god, <laughs> dude! No way. But no, I, I think that uh, I think that that's a that's a you know it's funny. I didn't want to ever bring this up with the pot. Actually, oh, damn today it. I found out OnlyFans is pretty lucrative. I did not know how crazy that can oh, get. Yeah, like dude. like the celebrities and shit. You know, like like bad bad baby got like fifty three million in a year. Or something. Izzy Aze- Iggy Iggy Azalea. Iggy, Iggy did really good for herself and everything. I found yeah. out my ex girlfriend. I found out my buddy hit me up. And goes, you'll never <laughs> guess. And I'm oh. like, what are you talking about? What What do you mean? I was like, I know she got OnlyFans, and he goes, you'll never guess how much money she made oh, on her oh. month of, on her month of March. Oh my God, how much she made? <laughs> oh wait, wait, okay, wait, wait, okay. Uh, I'm guessing f- uh, high five figures. High five? Not well. No, it's it's. What? But this is for a month. Oh, yeah, for a month for a month. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go like twenty. I'm she gonna made, say like thirty-seven. She made thirty-two before taxes. Hundred or thousand? Twenty? No, no, thirty. Thousand, thousand. Thirty-two thousand. Thirty-two thousand before taxes. <sighs> Cody Ray started only Made twenty-six thousand in the month of March. So is she just showing herself, or is she like getting like? Man, why are you asking me as if I'm subscribed to my ex? Well, you you yeah, started it, man. You started it. Like, it. You <laughs> cannot bring up OnlyFans in, the, in a room full of men. Me. Somebody hit me up. I was like, we were just talking bullshit, and they're like, getting that never double P. How much she made on OnlyFans? I'm like, what the fuck? Where did she come into play? And he goes, bro, I just saw it on Snapchat, and I was like, okay, well, how much? And told me the number, and I was like, God damn. Yeah. That bitch That's building a, a house. Ass business, bro. Well, you know what's gonna need to happen now. So we've all got to the point to where like porn used to be more taboo, but now everybody, even women, admit everybody, to yeah, watching yeah. porn. Mm-hmm. Now the the guys who are paying for this OnlyFans, they gotta come out of the shadows because nobody claims to be paying for OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah, These guys to gotta come out. We of the need shadows, to hear the stories, or I'm gonna have to go in the shadows and find. <laughs> I I gotta go undercover for a while, man. I, I, I don't know how I long too, I'll be. Will not say then, but I'm just gonna let y'all know. Hey, man, it's decent. It's decent. <laughs> I'll be like Emmett <laughs> Brown and Back to the Future. I put them goggles on. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna say, hey, yo, well, we are going. We don't need roads. <laughs> and I'm gonna just check out. Some... He's like, hey, yo, shawty. That's just crazy, though, bro. 26k, bro. You know what I do at 26k in a month? Oh, man. Bro, <laughs> buy a lot of OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe to every the OnlyFans. Circle of Life, just bro, give I it swear. right back. <laughs> that's like <laughs> support that's, your local pro. Wonder, oh my God, I'm with some prostitute. They're not prostitutes. Jesus Christ, no, that's my, that's my ex girlfriend. I mean, sex about. worker. Bro. Wait, but on top of that though, don't they take uh, like half of the money? So I don't know about that because I know it was like uh, she, she straight up put up her shit. And I, I got a picture. I was like, "Yo, send this shit to me." What's tax purposes on that? How does she file? Uh, I don't know. Ten ninety nine, I think, or something. Then like maybe like some city taxes, something. Do you have her social security number? I wonder if you could do that as a private business, though. Like, Can she write off her titties as dependents? That's hilarious. I'm claiming two. <laughs> well, she has like an extra large labia. Like <laughs> I've got a bit of a bat wing down here. Can I, can I write this up? <laughs> on one of them TV shows? What is like? Uh, what do they do? Them TV shows where they get sh- uh, shit removed. Botched, not oh, not yeah. botched. Are you talking about that zip code, the dark, the doctor, the <gasps> bro. Zip code? Yeah, yeah, I know oh. what you're talking about. I forget. Oh, the and they like do yeah. all that crazy shit. Yeah, I think it's crazy. Girls can get it tightened. Which, because when I think of getting it tightened, I think they just pull the skin back and stick a clothespin in it. That's Ooh. what I think, like a little chip clip. That's basically what it is. They, like, What's that clothespin pop out while you fucking? Imagine that shit. <laughs> the wooden <laughs> ones too, like a bing. <laughs> imagine that shit, but without it, they just cut that shit. I want to know what, what they do with that extra shit. Like I got my so I got my nuts clipped right, 
and I I was able to keep the little tubes. Really? Uh, yeah, they're in the other room. I got I, all the vast deference yeah, where the, yeah, the, little, the nut goes through. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I asked to keep them. <laughs> oh, like, like, like a little placenta. Crazy. Like, yeah. oh, that's <laughs> so adorable. <laughs> I wonder if there was ever a woman who was like, let me get that extra flat. I'm going to put that let shit. Let me get that flat. <laughs> the extra wing. Let me get the flat. Honey, I can't find it. It's next to my labia. <laughs> <laughs> Not my first, my third, my third labia. Oh, my God. Bro, I think that's crazy, bro, how far in science and like with like hospitals and shit, like the shit we can do to our bodies oh, yeah. and just like anything in general. I mean, you can go so far as like. Cut your dick off, bro, and like completely no, make yourself a person, a different no, person. No. Oh, oh, the trans woman no, not thing. not you. I ain't saying you. <laughs> I, was about to say, I know I was you love like, your dick. I was like, like, we know we love our <laughs> dicks here. I would never. I would never. Well, they a lot do. of those trans women, they keep their dicks. That's the power of a dick. Even the women see, want their dicks. That's see? a big ass movement. Mm-hmm. I'm realizing that's a, how big that is in porn, too, bro. That's a huge... What is it? Daisy Taylor? Daisy Taylor. She's like the number one transgender. Not even. She's the big... She's oh, just big in I'm the say, industry, I'm she's not like, even number one. Damn. I did some digging on that a couple days ago, actually. She popped up on my Twitter, and I was like, let me dabble. I have seen a woman with a dick suck uh, another woman with a dick stick. It, it kind of confuses me. I'm it like, does. The double down is it, it does. It's tricky. It's that double, double down is tricky. It's a double dip. You only get one dick involved in there, and you get four tits. But that, that's the thing. <laughs> that's what, that's four tits. How gay, how you, gay your, is your that? brain wants to tap out because you like, there's too many dicks, and this dude is sucking a dick, but you like, this dude got some big ass titties. <laughs> so I didn't like, know, like, it's a glitch in the matrix, and you don't know what to do. Ooh, and your like, dick is like, like I think Keanu it's, I Reeves think help me bro I think, it's <laughs> like, no. I think that shit's even straighter honestly if you're watching four titties a penis and vagina I think that shit's straighter I do think it's a very I think it's a very E equals MC squared of porn because you have this large equation that's condensed down to this simple thing because in porn all we're looking yeah, at interested. is the dick and the titties and the right, pretty right, right. face and then this trans woman has them all so, and don't have it be one of them bitches who could lay on their back and suck their own dick while they titties in their face? Now my mind just got blown. <laughs> and then they nut on the tits. She a whole ball. Yeah, she's snorkeling, man. That's snorkeling. She, don't wanna, she in that coral reef. She don't want to come crazy. up. She don't want to come up. She's finding Nemo right now. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for Dory. <laughs> Keep Dude. swimming. Just keep swimming. Dude, <laughs> you, bl- just like, I, I got the picture painted in my head and it's blown right now, bro. Oh, she got the picture painted on her head, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's just literally me and Malkova with a penis. That's all it is. Damn, Flex bro. Was. Another mind blown thing, though, that'll fuck you up. I saw before, oh, too, on, on the interwebs. Oh, all right. The trans guy. Guy, beard, hairy chest, beautiful pussy. Don't know what to do with was it. Sh- was it like a beautiful landing strip? No, because this was like a dude. So this was this was like <laughs> so, Austin Powers all the way down. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was oh, just a forest. Shag me. My it was God. a forest of hair. But, but, shag uh, me. but a beautiful labia and clitoris, you know. And when they uh taking those male hormones, that clit gets like the power of a that pinky. Thing is so it's crazy like, yes. Crazy strong. Bro. Yes, dude. Whoa. So, yeah. You don't even got, there ain't no problem finding that bad boy. That's yeah. You and the, that and motherfucker. the women look like. <laughs> oh, that's, it looks like a moose nut. Cool. Yes, oh, dude. Bro. Damn. Or like an elk, really. Like, like we in the upper. <laughs> yeah, that ain't, you can't lower down that one. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. So that that one, my brain was even less equipped to see because the the How women. Much trans, if you palm was transport, you'd be watching over here. We just got through a pandemic, man. Hey! I got the, I got the page. <laughs> I got the pages on Pornhub that I didn't I know they had. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's only so much pog porn that I can watch. <laughs> Like every single person during that whole pandemic found Fun. themselves on the page that they would never. Oh see. my <laughs> god! And then, and then they went through with it, yeah. and they're like, and then after that, that post nut reflection, you're like, oh damn, bro. I, I sent a picture to Nick one time, and like, I, big ass, big ass black dude with a small petite little white girl, and I, I, I watched it, and I enjoyed it, and then as soon as I got done with it, I go. What the fuck did I just bro, do? Yeah. I sent that shit to him. It's he like sent me the link too. It's bro, like, it's like one thirty in the morning. It's like a chain letter, man. It just goes around. I saw one of them, but it was it was a black dude, but it was an Asian girl. And bro, the, I and got huge fucking, into the Asian girls during the pandemic. So super petite. They're fucking on the steps. The dudes on the steps. She's holding each wall while what? she's reverse cowgoring it. 
But he's hung so well and she's so tiny that I swear to God, if she let go of the wall, she that's would just die. A split body right <laughs> if she, if there, she bro. just oh, fell on it, split. like it was, so did, not that's only a, were you intrigued about the sexuality of it, but there was a moment of danger at any time. It's a snuff you film. Up. It's you a snuff up. film. You watching the death. Dude. It's like she's holding on to these walls for dear life, and I'm like, if she falls, it's she, over, dude. It's over. Oh my. Yeah. So, Poor girl. Dude, yeah. Do you ever feel bad for them girls? Like, no, not at all. No, not at all. <laughs> well, I'm like, they're man, making twenty six thousand a year. <laughs> 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 They can have yeah. your fat. They can that's, take a fat dick. Yeah, it's like guys. It's like those underwater welders or that's some what? shit. Like it, it's a hazardous job, but they get paid like, handsomely like, to you, do it. You're making money, bro. <laughs> they I don't get know paid handsomely. Yeah, yeah. It's oh. like ice road truckers or some shit. In the off season, <laughs> they go be in Vegas somewhere. <laughs> like a little off season and shit. Yeah, them that's crab cool. fishermen. It's like yeah, yeah we make fifty thousand every boat trip out. That's that bitch holding the wall. It's fucking yeah. two foot black. Suit. You find yourself in an odd situation around that time. <laughs> There's got to be. That, is that around that time you took that photo of you on the couch? Or you just uh, you were talking about on your. Yes, order? sir. <laughs> is that time? Yes, sir. Post nut was that that. Photo? That was uh <laughs> that was the first week of the pandemic. I had just lost my job. I was sick. I wanted to go to the doctor, but nobody would take you. Yeah, the there, big C. There wasn't no, there Chlamydia. wasn't no test for it. No, I wish. <laughs> I wish I could have amoxicillin that shit out. <laughs> so like, so and then I was all depressed, and my girlfriend saw me on the couch, and she's always bubbly, even when it's depressing. She's like, "Oh, you look so sad." <laughs> Just captured one of the most one of anime girls in your life, bro, and like. <laughs> Yeah, I'm literally just staring off, thing, contemplating my own mortality and what I'm gonna do with life and and the end of the world and the apocalypse. It's just like, oh, cheer up! It was a great moment <laughs> to reflect on. A great moment yeah. to reflect on. Dude, yeah, like that's an, fucking awesome. Yeah, she's like an Asian woman at a wedding. She just had to take pictures. She was compelled. She was compelled. <laughs> she's like, I gotta get you. <laughs> She's like, I know you're sad and all, but try and at least be a little happy. And we made lemonade out of that shit. Fuck yeah, yeah bro. That's awesome. When life gives you fucking that. lemons, you ditch the lemons and fucking go hit some life. waves keep going, and keep going. Sh- shred. You, going you go it, shred going. some gnar, bro, and getting some crazy when shit. When life gives you COVID, you get an OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of them motherfuckers did, and they're, they're making money. I want to know about the dude section of it, though. Like... How I want to know, yeah. They I don't know if dudes make out like women on it. How much more do you have to? How much more effort you got to put into that shit? And what kind of circus dick do you have, even? Right, like, is it like are people <laughs> signing in for like are small people? Are you making it look like an elephant? <laughs> now, if it's super small, probably. I'd pay oh, for like one the, week of an OnlyFans for a dude with like a, a grain like of rice the, stick. Just the just micro, the turn? micro yeah, penises. And they're still in porn, bro, making money. And I'm like, bro, I know I could do something. Especially if it was like a Peter North type micro penis, to where like his penis is little, but he's like, like mowing bitches down, like, like a civil rights hose, just like it's a hundred people. Just oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. can you imagine the irony of just getting super soaked with the smallest dick in the world? Like, in a way that probably like. I don't know. Like, I don't know why mentally I put both of those images <laughs> right together. Yeah, me where it's too. not the host, Dude, it's this man. Yeah, it's this man's <laughs> cock, bro. I can't picture. God damn, son. There's a bunch of naked women singing, We Should Overcome. <laughs> <laughs> we should. Dog, what the fuck? You said this was a podcast. There's no, there's no, chance. <laughs> there's no chance that's not going to be a future bet. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, that was so fucking fun. I love that shit. Hey man, that. Hey, oh. that's what OnlyFans is for, man. As human beings, we get to we get to really see what we're made of, dude. Ain't that shit funny yeah. though? How like OnlyFans originally was supposed to be like a Patreon, where like it was supposed to be just for like content, like, and like podcasting stuff, and like, shit like that, like cooking. Like their one of their main realms was cooking. <laughs> really? They wanted people to go in for that's OnlyFans amazing. and like have a. There's a lady that cooks wall. naked on it though. And then I okay. want to know the first person that really blew up on OnlyFans for selling their titties. Who? I, no, I just want to oh. know. I want to know who that one person was. Like, you know what? What if I did sex work behind this thing? And then before you know it, they were just like millionaire. <laughs> Y'all awesome. get on this shit. Well, it's the same thing, bro. You can a girl will like 
put on like her OnlyFans links are, like on Snapchat and shit, like you know, covering everything. But like they have like premium snaps and shit now. Like they post on their story, like send me, cash at me this, and you can be added to this. Wow. You know it's funny for shits and giggles. I wanted to count how many times you said like in one fucking sentence. You just said it seven times. I'm a little fucking stoned. Are you? Bro. Are you I'm like I'm a I had like, listen. Like, I had. I, I say had, like, like a lot when I'm high too. Dude. I had a long car ride back. You did. You did. Me and Cody, you were real pissed off that whole way. Bro. Y'all don't know how to fucking drive, apparently, because his ass was... Bro. No, we, no, we don't. I, I was, trust me, <laughs> his, I, I can attest dude, to that. I think as soon as I... Minutes, I'm in the middle of talking, he's like, hold on a second. I'm staring down this bitch in the fucking rear view mirror. <laughs> yeah. She's trying bro, to pass me. I bitch, think I'm once I got in the, over. I think once I got in Lorraine County, bro, it felt like it was like every man for himself. It yeah. was like, fuck it. Yeah. Full send. He's like, he's like, yeah, bitch, I'm flipping you off. And I'm like, what are you doing right now? You're just going to war. I'm like such an aggressive... Unless I'm listening to a podcast, bro, like, I'm like such an aggressive driver. It's usually like when I'm like not doing anything but like talking. Like, I'm aggressive. You were talking and you were very aggressive. I, like, I if I'm to listening to music... Down. I used to be bad with that shit. Yeah, it's just hard, man. Because I'm like, I was going... Tw- ro- ro- rage. Oh, it's no, hard because like, you're going 20 over already and you're still riding my ass, man. Well, that's why I don't have a gun. Like, come on. Yeah, yeah, did you one. see the one that the the dash yeah, the cam dude, that yeah, one the, guy and he was, was found innocent, out. bro? What happened? What, what happened? What happened? There's a video of a dude, uh, like he got pissed off during road rage. He pulled out his gun and shot through the windshield, his own windshield at this car, like pop, 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 pop. And when you're watching the camera of it, it's not even. It's a terrible his, shot. He's yeah, like, yes, and he's just he's, he's like just shaking. Everywhere <laughs> here. He's like, oh. his arm is up here. It's pointed he's like this. His own he's doing yes. Yes. He's like, he's like, he's half scared doing it. He's yeah, like, yeah. well, you got to think that sound is probably awful. Oh, just bro. In the cab, just like yeah, at least blowing one your the windows own down or something. Down. <laughs> he's like, you ever get so mad, but you're still so conflicted with it? He's like, oh, fuck, fuck yeah, this dude, fuck this man. Yeah, he just yeah. made his life even worse. He probably has tinnitus for the rest of his yeah. life. <laughs> so stupid. Gonna have carpal tunnel surgery 10 you years know, earlier yeah. now. But yeah, I, I was just watching that on something on YouTube because they were going through something else, but they are talking about road rage, and they showed that uh, guy, and he's like, pop, 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 Yeah, and pop. he was found innocent, yeah, bro. Yeah. I was like, how? Yeah, well. Cause, he, just because nobody was hurt. That's like, yeah. you know... Well, discharging they, they, well, a they firearm. Him, they sued him and shit for shooting at him or whatever. I don't know. I know he, he got arrested or whatever. I mean, yeah. yeah I think that eventually they were like, there was okay, an investigation. There's, the one, there's that one car with eight bullets. You in the know. <laughs> They're like, like hey, the <laughs> some, something's <laughs> not right. <laughs> something's not right, man. <laughs> You don't have a windshield. <laughs> Why did you do that? He didn't use his turn signal. Okay, case this. <laughs> case this. He no, cut me like off. I, I feel like I had that shit on the side, and as soon as somebody pissed me off, I just pull it up and be like, don't fucking do it, dude. I don't actually be. would like to counter sue for him wasting my gas. To I want like that old school James Bond shit. Like, not a gun, but like, if I could do like, like press a dual? button and like oh. the oil slick and then oh. somebody spins oh. out behind you. <laughs> yeah, bro. Or like, just, just fucked up shit or like, uh, bright lights on the back, like blind somebody. I don't want to kill you. I just want to fuck your day up. You know. Yeah, what I, mean? I just want to be a yes. huge inconvenience yes. your day. Like, like yeah, like shit like, like that. Tossing them pennies out the window and a little bit of fireworks. And yeah, you got fireworks in the video. Paint, like, paintballing out of the side. It's shit like, like, yo, that. you're still gonna get to where you're going, but I'm gonna make sure you have a terrible time oh, getting yeah, there. Oh yeah, yeah. Your car's gonna look ridiculous. The whole time <laughs> you're there, you're just conflicting whether or not you should just stop, just completely stop where you're at right now. Uh-huh. Yeah, because I promise it's not gonna get any better. And and then, and then good luck explaining that to police. Like, how, why is your car like, some guy, he, first oil came out and I spun out and then he threw all these bananas, pills out like Mario Kart. And then, <laughs> I was really confused. This dude's going to arrest her for thinking yeah. she's on ass. Right. He's like, okay, ma'am, say the alphabet backwards. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Bro, I, I would I I got in some trouble and stuff, and they never made me try to say the alphabet backwards. But with some shiesty shit, they did try to pull though. Was I was coming off a torn Achilles, and so like my foot wasn't all the way healed. It was my right one, and they still made me like stand on my right yeah. foot and like balance, and it was like really wobbly. And they used that and for my discovery. Was that that time? 
Yeah. I just wanna, yeah I, Did you get a Dewey? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. His man. brother got the. I think his brother got the worst end of it, My bro. My brother got worse, and he was high and drunk. Nick yeah. was high and drunk. My brother was just drunk. <laughs> But my brother was the passenger, and his he brother. got it worse off than he did. His brother ratted. Wait. Him. His brother ratted on me though. I said he got a he got a he got a DUI for in the passenger seat. He, no, no, he got no, an no. under. He got underage. They, they both were underage. But he had to wear. Too. But he had to wear a thirty day alcohol monitor, and if he drank, he went to jail. That sucks. That sucks. But that that is a pussy magnet too. I bro, bet he was oh, rocking bro, that. Swear to God, I, I bet swear he was rocking to that. God, yeah, swear on my life, this dude went to the bar. We found one of our favorite teachers back in school. Back, oh my God, walks yes, up dude. to the family Casa Fiesta Mexican restaurant in town. Swear on my life, walks up to the fucking table and goes, "Hey, Miss, check it out." Pulls up his ankle like it's a fucking flexing piece, it like it's an ankle. And I was like, bro, what the fuck? It's are that you new doing? Alex and on uh, Alex and on the in ankle. that restaurant. We're like. Whoosh. Oh my god! He did it so much, and then he put a he took a he took a photo he took a photo of his like last day on blah 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 the Snapchat and it's like can't wait to get this yeah. off. The and only like, picture nobody's I nobody's proud of you. It's a conversation starter though. The man. only picture I took was me like handcuffed to the table, like they thought I was going to take off running. Yeah, dude, all, all that's conversation starters, man. Those Where are you war also stories, went to man. Court a fuck ton and like yeah, didn't have well, any discipline, just yeah. a lot of court. Yeah, I pled not guilty, bro. Like you think I'm gonna take all these charges? So did 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 you get the full like pay us ten thousand dollars and all this shit? No, dude. You... So I got <laughs> I got hit with all the like minimal shits. Nice. And like to elude, but I didn't well, you get. You said you were you were a minor or whatever. Yeah. Okay, yeah. But I so didn't they're probably looking out for you. And I didn't get any time but served. Smoked my brother. <laughs> hey, but his brother <laughs> ratted on me. His brother ratted on me. I told him it wasn't my weed, and he was like, "Yeah, I didn't know it was his weed. I didn't know he was smoking in the car and stuff. I saw it in the center console." And I was like, "Bro, I told him it wasn't mine." Bro, you know he's a born <clears throat> snitch, though. <laughs> Bro, <I'm> t- <laughs> we've been in situations where he has snitched blatantly. Oh, no. All of us stayed true. I thought one time though. I thought oh. one time I was like, I already knew I was gonna, you know. But I was like, as long as he can play along, you know, maybe I won't. Yeah. Take the weed chart. No. That dude reminded me of Taylor, bro. Taylor can't lie for shit. Is a our tech dude. He ain't here today. Oh, that ain't good. But, That's no, the oh my Henry god, Hill. bro. He can't lie for <clears throat> shit. I tell him a secret just for the fuck of it, just so I to go out. And I'm like, bitch. And he's like, oh, you know I can't. You know I can't do it. Oh uh, like, yeah, bro. Yeah, that's how. <laughs> that, yeah, that's how you disseminate disinformation. You just tell him some bullshit and just let it get around everywhere. <laughs> 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 oh, there's times I said some bullshit too, and I'm like, all right, spread that shit. Go ahead. <laughs> spread and that write shit. it all. Spread that shit. Yeah. Try to fuck around and see what can I can what I can create here. Yeah, yeah but release yeah. the die in the cave just to see where it comes out. At. <laughs> like, like we know there's leaks. We just want to see where this <laughs> shit. But yeah, he a hundred percent got the. I still to this day think he got the worst end of it than me. I was like, I just had to pay a little bit more 100%. fines. He was wearing jewelry the whole time. And you did jewelry, it. jewelry, oh. jewelry. It was still thirty days in the grand scheme of things. Cause I know. I don't I, think it was thirty. I think it was. I think it was longer than that. Oh. Because he had on for a minute. Oh. I mean a minute. I think it was ninety days. Oh. Dude, that shit was. As if, yeah, like, that will ruin like, the summer. Was, how Bro, old were you? How old were you? Guys? I was twenty. Okay, you guys were like right under. Bro, it was just funny because I would be at the same party he's at, and I'm smashed, having a good time, and that he's happened. there, and he is sober as a fucking like and he's none. He's talking to everybody. He's like, check out my bass, check out my bass. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, man, dude, <laughs> look at this. I was me and him, and Nick's over there, like, hey, man, you still got that shit on, dude. Damn, <laughs> Walking in a random bathroom with like, random still- girls, just like want to want to hear more about my ankle bracelet. <laughs> you oh, I'm hear- so sorry. You must have saw my bracelet. You want to hear? I almost lost my life. <laughs> Oh my god, you're so dangerous. Nick's drunk ass out there. He fucking snitched on me. God damn it. <laughs> he only got He's an underage. He ain't that bad. I'm still going to court. Suck me. <laughs> Dude, yeah. Suck me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. Pleading for head. Pleading so for head. Please. Please. I'm, I'm lucky, man. I uh knock on wood. I've I've been pulled over a billion times, but I've been uh I've been lucky with the Dewey shit, there. Damn, bro. I think I, I smoke weed so much that you kind of know where to drive and where not to drive. And I can fake weed all day. You can't fake alcohol. Yeah. I've, I've had the this shit 
mm-hmm. on weed. Like I'm like, I can do that. I'm like, I'm mm-hmm. I halfway sobered up when your lights hit my car. You oh, know, yeah, what I mean? like, <laughs> yeah. You lost your high road. Yeah, you killed like, my fucking buzz immediately, yeah, bro. Like, you, like, you, you, you're pissed off. Like, man, you killed my fucking buzz. Let's yeah. just do this shit. Yeah, it's like you sobered me up, and then uh, a couple times I got pulled over. Uh, I wasn't drunk, but I could tell I was over the limit. But I was lucky. That shit's trippy, man. That, that shit. That's you take, that's like, when three sips and you're that's over. That's when you start limit. talking. Oh to, yeah, that's when you start dude. talking Two to God. Two you done. You see them lights, you're like God. It's me, man. I'm that a- happened <laughs> last night. I was at the light. I was getting in the uh, Lakewood, and this cop was coming, and I'm smoking a blunt, and then he's coming around the corner, <clears> and I'm like. Uh, and then I'm just holding it down because I'm, I'm right around the corner from my house. I'm like, I should be all right. And then he hit the lights. Like, Woo! I'm like, fuck. And then he sped past me. And, oh, and I was oh, like, oh. Thank you. <laughs> thank God. You <laughs> <laughs> love those giveaways. You absolutely love those giveaways. <laughs> thank when God. When you see the lights and you know you're doing some shit wrong, you're just like, oh, son of a bitch. Bro, and then it just feels like, I don't know, you feel like... I. Like you feel like you beat the system. You yeah, feel like yeah, shit happened like, to you, but yeah. you're like, fuck that. Yeah, you're like, yeah, fuck you're, like, you're, like, you're, like, you're like, fuck you, and bro. And then, like, being uh, around the corner from my house, too, it would have sucked to have made it that close to home. And it would have just been weed. Like, at this point, I always tell my girl, because she don't smoke weed, but she drinks coffee all the time. And mm-hmm. I'm like, weed for me now is like coffee is for you. Mm-hmm. It's like, if you gave it to a kid, they'd probably be out of their mind, but this just helps you get through your day. I'm like, that's weed to Damn, me. Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> it's on you, Travis. <laughs> You know, a little right? weed a day, a little weed a day, not a little weed a day, a little weed a day. Well, keep, a little weed a day, a little weed a day, a little weed a day. A little micro penis. It all, you know. I'm dabbling, you know that. Yeah, you've started dabbling. A little bit, a little dabble. This man, does, he just doesn't know how to be high. No, 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 no. He does. It, there's a difference. I was uh, so when I was doing the shit, I was just like getting smacked, and I was like way above. I wasn't like I didn't know my. Did you get like paranoid? That shit. Well, like, I, for one, I was just doing other people's shit. I was hitting, like, dad pen something. Like, a little head buzz is cool, whatever. Yeah. But, like, when I was hitting, like, well, whenever I smoked weed, I got too high. And I, or I did a dab. I got too fucking high. Yeah. Like, that's, that's crazy. And I'm yeah. A, that's, that, that's intense. Dude. I'm a well, dabber. I went, I went that's to, intense, I went to, I went I'm, to, That's why I'm dumb. Up. I went up to I went up and I went to the dispenser and I talked about it and like I actually explained like what I'm going through and shit. I was like, yo, I need to, like, kind of chill the fuck out. Like, there's moments where I, like, I just want to relax and sit down. And like I can't, cause I want to do all this Turn and that. He's like, I got the thing for you. On. And the sure shit, I've been doing, and like it, it really been helping me for real. So I, I made me relax, <laughs> and I'm like, I understand it now. Yeah. But at first, I was like, yo, y'all are just like fucking zombies. Like yeah. y'all are just no, dumb man. as shit. You do at, have so. to know how to navigate it. I tell people like it's like, cause especially like with dabs and like the way edibles. That's a home are, thing. That's a home. That's thing. like a person who doesn't drink, whose first drink is moonshine. It's like no. <laughs> <laughs> It's like no, you, 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 you can't you can't go in that high. How you said dispensary? How far are we from uh, Michigan? About, it was an hour drive for me. Yeah, yeah, it's like an hour drive, no cap. Yes, dude. Yeah, it's 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 not that far from here, dude. My dad, we bonded over some weed. Like my dad went to Michigan and got a couple bags. That's just beautiful. That's beautiful as yeah, fuck. Dude. That's I've just shared beautiful. I've yeah, shared dude. more like joints and blunts with my parents' dads than like I would ever with my own family. Well, me and my Your dad, we were. Dads? <laughs> no, no, my friend's dad. Are you smoking with grandpa? Shit, that would be. I would. Bro. My father's father. That's such an odd <laughs> thing to say. <laughs> my father's father. What what was that? Did I say my my yeah? I saw somebody my my wife's uh, father in law. Your dad. <laughs> 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 like, That's good. No, but like yeah, I've smoked with my friend's parents, bro, and my mom. Like even if she's like even when she's drunk, she knows. Right. And I'm like no, I'm just tired, and she's like bullshit, bro. But She's like, it time, is 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It was the first time I ever did a dab. And like, I was getting peer pressured by all my dudes in college and shit. And I was, I was, in, a couple, I was in a couple death metal bands. So I'm hanging out with all these metal heads and shit. And I'm in this fucking trash house that called to be the Pussy Palace. That's what it used to be called. <laughs> yes. And it was just a venue. Like, it was a house show nonstop. We're having hardcore shows all the time there. And I'm chilling there, bullshit. And they're hitting up the dab rig or whatever. And my buddy was like, this is the night. And I'm like, you know what, dude? Fuck it. Let's do it. I'll never forget. It was like Green Bay versus... Uh, Detroit on the TV and shit. My buddy's a Greek Alliance fan. He's super stoked. I'm excited for this game. And so I'm getting ready to watch it. But before it, I'm going to hit this dab. I'm going to say, fuck was, it. Whatever. That was the night AD turned to BC. A little flap, right? A little, oh, little booger, some would yeah. say. 
So I'm getting ready. I, I, he's like, you got to suck this shit fucking hard so it comes through. Clean that shit. You know, own it. Oh, I'm man. like, all right, say less. What I didn't know is that he had a little inside thing to where he would roll up like three or four little balls and put it underneath the cap. Oh, that ain't, dude. That's, that's fucked up. That's, so that's what fucked up, bro. That's not right. Dude. Not at all. He, that's, Fuck that guy, bro. That's oh super my. fucked. So what uh, happened was. I wouldn't even do that to my best so friend. So he's just waiting for you right to be out of I your mind. It, right before I did it, he <laughs> did had you a change. Check your of, wallet. He had a change of heart. He had a change of heart. And he goes, oh, what? Yo, don't hit it hard and clear it. Just get it, get a little in you, do it, and then we can pass it on. Like, because I mean, it's just a lot on that, whatever. And I went to do it, and it wouldn't fucking like I was I was trying to hit it, and it wouldn't go through. And I'm like, yo, there's like there's no suction. He goes, it's burning. Go, go, suck hard as shit. And I'm like, all right, I suck that shit like a fucking G. I do a ball through a hose, bro. How was the coffin after that? I died. And so I <laughs> did. Did he tell you to take a deep breath? So the first time I hit like a bong or a gravity bong, oh I, that oh they yeah. saw this that shit level clear. where you can't stop they coughing. They saw this shit clear, and right before it hit me, I saw everybody's attention go towards him because they were like, "That wasn't that. What the fuck did you do?" And my body's dying. His red face just crying. And he goes, "He's so fucked." And I'm like, I'm like "Oh no, oh no!" And before you know it, bro, I'm in a different world. And there's like three things that I remember from that. First one was my buddy uh, Eric was coming up behind me, and he was just going. Trap, 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 trap. Uh, <laughs> now, was he talking like that, or were you hearing he it doing, like that? Oh, he was, oh. So, like, not only was that happening, but that was like times four in my head. So I'm like in Freddy Krueger's nightmare, bro. Yes. So that happened. I was watching the game, and I'm so high, I'm just sitting there staring at it. I slowly turn and look at my buddy. He's got his laptop. He looks at me. This is the guy that gave me the day. Yeah. He looks at me, and he goes like this. Like a mime? Just does that. Don't say shit, and then just continues to type. Bro, when I tell you him doing that with his laptop ruined everything in me. I go, you didn't just do that. And he goes, what are you talking about? And I was like, Are you sure no, this was dabs, bro? No, no, no. No, he did it. He did it just to fuck oh. with me. And then pretended as if he didn't do it. And I was like, bro, don't That's do this mean, shit. Don't dude. do this shit. And he's like, what? And I was like, did you pick up your laptop? And he's like, laptop's been on my lap. And I was like, no. Please, God, no. Yeah, yeah. I've How long were you on another planet? Bro, I did that shit before the football game. It was a night game at like 8 o'clock. We yeah. were heading home around like 12, 1 o'clock, I believe. And the whole time I'm laying there just staring at the fucking highway out the window. At the, I was like getting cold air. Yeah, it was cold yeah. from the window. And my buddy's just, Travis, 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 Travis. Dog. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm going to fucking kill you. When I come out of this, you're a dead man. That's wrong, Did it, it hurt to breathe after, dude, like right I, dude, away? Yeah, I probably was high for like six hours. Like, I, <laughs> violently shit. high for six violently. hours. Violently. Uh, yeah. I, I get, dude, that's why I don't eat edibles. They get me violently hot. Yeah. And there's no stopping. There's yeah. no come down. Yeah. It only intensifies. Yeah, you, happy, yeah I, I, that's that story with the, with the water. You're just better off going to sleep. Yeah, edibles are, but in, until you like, you have crazy dreams and then you wake up high. I'm, that's, <laughs> yeah, like you wake you up wake up still, still high? baked. Yeah. 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 Yeah, like it's, it's still holding you. Like I'm still here. Yeah, it's like I, it's like you thought you lost me. You were, you were just cuddling all night, bro. You were a little spoon that whole yeah, night, bro. You know. Bro, uh, my fiance never did dabs before she got with me, and the first time I ever had her do her dab, she like started coughing, and then like once she got good and stuff, I was like, now take a deep breath. You know it'll feel make you feel better, and she fucking started coughing all over again. Yeah, lost it's, it's, it. It's, it's oh, intense. it was so funny. One of the things I want to do, but I, I've heard stories. Have you guys the ever slab done the uh, uh, no the moon rock? You know oh, I've, I've I've had moon rock. Yeah, it says moon it, rock's it, crazy, bro. Yeah. What's moon rock? It's wax. Yeah, it, it's and then it's like Keith weed and like uh, it's every. It's weed like derivative. in a flat, yeah, yeah, and like it's everything, bro. Into like and they make it into like a weed. They geode. got that little wrap. Around the fucking thing too. That's my buddy no. Church be doing. He'd be rapping it like designing his little fucking blunt, and he'd be rapping it with wax. So that it, it... I did that on the inside when I when I went to we went to Vegas and it's uh, legal there. And we were at the Planet Fourteen or whatever, and they had like the Moon Rocks the dabs, all this shit. We got some weed. I got a little bit of the dab wax, but I didn't have anything to smoke it. So 
I broke the weed down into a blunt. I got my girl's hair dryer and I oh, just yeah. got the dab Ooh. till it melted and then I poured it over the top and then I rolled it. It's getting crazy. And then that's oh, in a, hey, that, hey, Vegas that's a, at night. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Adapt and overcome, bro. Adapt and overcome." You ever see like uh, what was that? Fear and loathing in Las Vegas. Like, uh, yeah, it's it's you're all the lights, all the stimulus. This you're, motherfucker was Leslie Child that whole night, bro. Yeah, yeah, you're you're somewhere Ooh. else, and and yeah, and, and yeah, it's it's amazing. I is the food it. out in Vegas? It's got to be crazy, oh, bro. I'm a big is, food. Oh. I'm a big food guy. Have bro. you been to Vegas? Never. But you got you got to go. It's I don't even gamble, but it's it's fun because just the stimulation, the food, all the other shit that you can do. It's definitely just top out at like three, three nights, four days tops. Just I think, because I think it gets these, over. This year, this year, I think it's going to be one of the fun things. I've been talking about this for a minute. I want to put five k down on. <laughs> Red or black? We haven't decided yet, but I just want to put 5K down just for the fuck of it. I'm, Take I'm, the trip all the way out there. I'm go a couple weekends, gamble. and on the very last night, we drop the 5K on it. Whether we lose it all or make it up, it'll be great. Oh, for bro, that's going to fuck back home. That's going yeah. to be. I'm going to be one pissed off elf, bro. I swear to God. But prior to that, we're going to be gambling our own money as well on that. Well, and then you got to do all the little shit. Go get 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 some, get some weed. Like, yeah, get, a, get, get, get 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 some get some bottles for the room because you're gonna be drinking at the hotels. But get some bottles for the room so you could do the pregame. In the daytime, go to the pool area wherever your hotel is. Chill there, be with the women, Ooh, smoke out, do smoke yeah, out. yeah. Then like either go to like some shows, do some shopping or whatever. That's the one fuck. of the things I want. I want to get. I want to plan it around something to where not only do we want to go and gamble and like you know, there's always events and everything there, but I want to go there where there's an event that was like also intriguing to us. Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, speaking of porn, AVN do the awards there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Next- they just had that. <sighs> Next year, it's mad conventions there. Like, go, go, uh, like when they're doing a Comic Con type thing, a bunch of them fucking geeky bitches in the anime oh, outfits. Oh, yeah, Come bro. On now. What if we just nonchalantly gotta... book this Vegas trip that same weekend and we're just like, we just, you know, no tour, girl. And then we fuck around <laughs> and we're like, oh, yeah, she, would you look at that? Yeah, she checks. What our phones were? She checks my location. I'm in Vegas, bro. We oh. Didn't know no, no, no. Was... She knows you're in Vegas. Oh, I thought she you meant it like we sneak away. Oh, yeah. They have like weed conventions and stuff there too. I'm oh sure. yeah, yeah Every, a, a, all the big conventions go through. I, I think went the to Super Bowl go be there next bro, year. I've been to oh, there's titties I've, out I've been to high the times oh, yeah, in yeah, Michigan, bro, and that was sick. I bet, bro, it was oh, super sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody was saying now Michigan got some of the best weed in the country, bro. Yeah, I, I like Michigan, but it's real <laughs> solid. Yeah, yeah. You've been missing. Have you not gone over yet? No, I he's told just, you. I, I, he's just like <laughs> slowly like. This is crazy. We well, I'm, this I'm, shit right my now. man's thotting and plotting I'm right still, now. <laughs> I'm still an analog man in this new digital world of weed. I get I get my shit from a couple people, but they get theirs from the dispensary. I got gotcha. you. She's still getting it up there just without the trap. And, and a friend of mine, he works Zyper? at a dispensary in Lakewood, so I get it like right around the corner from me. But uh, for Ohio, of course, it's got to be medical. Yeah. But right, I, right. I'm not paying for a card, but he has a card, so you just go in there. <laughs> my tummy. <laughs> <laughs> my tummy. <laughs> my stomach hurts, so you need some dabs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you need a good indica. <laughs> but yeah, bro, High Times was insane. They had, you could test the dabs before you even bought them. Like, you could take a dab and then, like, you're like, eh, no, I don't dad? Oh, my God. See, Could what... you do, like, some Karen shit? Like, cause I'm, I'm a bartender, and I have people, like, like I have a sip of wine. So I, I, I would imagine, like. <laughs> Can I try this one? Yeah, you just cough your ass off, like, <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I tried three, and then I bought, like, the second one. I was like, yep, that's the one I want. I bought, like, two grams <sighs> of it. But it was, like, the deals, bro, were insane. I got 20 cards for, like, 210 bucks. It was it was pretty. I thought it was a pretty good deal at the time, but now you can go up to Michigan and get eleven for a hundred. Did they did they do mushrooms too, or no? Does anybody? Do, I think Canada is Canada. Yeah, I heard, I heard mushrooms. Oregon. I heard mushrooms is like right around the corner of becoming legal in America. Yeah, yeah, cause, it's cause, good for like you microdosing. Mm-hmm. Well, I because I was watching some YouTube channel and uh, this girl was doing. I guess the way they do them like legally now is the popular way is in chocolate bars. 
So the, oh, I've seen the mushroom yeah, bars, bro. Uh, uh, so, somebody on this podcast. I'm not going to say <laughs> who. <laughs> it ain't me. It ain't, it. it ain't Cody Ray, but somebody on this podcast just did that, actually. Sent me a picture. Yeah. I thought that shit was weed. And they were like, no, nope, that shit was shrooms. And I was like, Puh, don't play cod with me, motherfucker. You about to be swimming in the water the whole well, time. Well, and so the thing is, like, the, the girl who I saw do this on this YouTube channel, and she's like, I do mushrooms, but I guess just like the weed, anything that's kind of more refined and everything... They're like, if you're used to doing three and a half grams, just do these amount of squares. And then she did it, and she she was like, I was out of my fucking mind. Uh, <laughs> no. so, so again, so again, uh, not not any of us here. There's a person that said when they when they I did would it do first, it. when they did it first, they have no reaction, nothing crazy ever, whatever. They're like, okay, I'm just gonna go outside, like whatever. And they looked up, they looked up and saw the stars, and the stars were the most beautiful thing they've ever seen in their fucking life. And they're like. Then they laid on the hood of their car and just stared at the stars like two hours, just like, I'm learning so much. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, dude, I, I'm, 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 I believe I'm a big control dude, so I don't know if I could do it. But if I could do that. And I just think like, ayahuasca would be so sick, bro. Ayahuasca. Now, I, I want to do that, but I'm scared of that. I, yeah. I, 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 that's, <laughs> I'm, trying to, like you, I'm trying to have a life altering ayahuasca epiphany. Is, yeah, that's more for some like cathartic getting ready to see Jesus shit. This shit, dude. Right. Aaron Rodgers talks about that shit. Like he just does it weekly, bro. It sounds like he was on the he was on the Pat McAfee when he was talking about like the decision thing. Joe Rogan's done that. it. When he was teasing that, he was talking to them about. He's just like, yeah, you know, you go in there, you don't have your phone, and that's why he's going to New York. Six o'clock, so that's how you know with like what that's your next day because you you lose track of time. And he's like, he's like, after I got done and my mind was clear and everything, the Packers didn't want me. And I'm like, this whole time he's been talking about ayahuasca as if this is just like (laughs) drinking a beer at a bar. But it's supposed to make you knock on Jesus' door, man. Like, oh, he like said he, 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 there. he said he knew all the answers. He knew he wasn't going to be in Green Bay before he even came out. And Green Bay hit him up with that. And he's like, yeah, I knew. I, I, I wanted to be a Jet. And then the Jets hit him up. And he's like, yep, I knew I wanted to be a Jet. And you're like, bro, I, what that's what I'm fuck? saying, bro. It's I'm like, yo, shit, that's like man. telling the future. It's like, you're about to go tell the future. It's like, yo, I need to go know what's going to happen, bro. That shit reminds me of uh, Just so maybe if it's not ever, good, I can prepare. Blue Mountain State by chance. No, no, no. There was like a football show back in like oh nine. It was on like Spike TV, ten, whatever. Uh, man, sir. Oh, the mid, the mid odds. I was, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was in these streets. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, he, he did, he did. Uh, I think he drank ayahuasca, or he drank something. He drank a whole fucking thing of it, and there's like that's enough drugs to last us a week. And he drank it all and had this whole trip and like spiritual adventure and stuff. And that's what I imagine. That's that's how that goes. I'm like, I don't know if I want to do that. That's like. I, well, I want to do say, it, though, like, on the reservation, it, like, in a hut, right. like, you yeah. know, the whole yeah, fucking, yeah, I want the whole. And you're sweating your ass off, and yeah. you're throwing up yeah. and yeah. having diarrhea fits. And yeah. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> I want. <laughs> yeah, literally, there's, like, collections want... of them. Like, if you're throwing up, you go with the people that are throwing up. And if yeah, you're it... shitting yourself, you're with the people that are shitting yourself. Yeah, you're but, like... yeah, you're, you're with a bucket constantly, because yeah. you're just purging. Yeah, It's like, bro, I want to be, like, I want that whole experience. I don't want to just do it in, like, Danny's basement. What I'm curious about that, though, like. Because like, that's one of the main things that I'm like, that's why I'm I'm kind of like off on that. It's when you're like, you're just vomiting for three days, what it sounds like. It's like D- it's liquid DMT, process, basically. In that whole process, are you are you doing your trip while you're doing your throw up or shit? Or like, is that what you're like saying? And you're like, well, from what I heard, that's when it's starting. So you're you're not, you're not you're not in it. It's literally like if like the throw up is the shuttles rumbling and and, and then they just ignite it and then. You you haven't left the atmosphere, but you're just uh, that's the throwing up. You're getting ready to you're getting ready to, <laughs> you're, yeah, ready to go to you're getting yeah you're getting ready to go to Mars, yeah, baby. You got the rocket on your back. We haven't breached the Van Allen belts or nothing like that yet, but you're just uh, uh, that, that's when all that purging shit is happening. I'm scared of the DMT because I hear, I've heard stories about that like. How you're you're under for just an, a matter of minutes, but I've heard people say it feels they like live, hours. Yeah, they live like a lifetime in that. Yeah, bro. Yeah, but it's yeah, only yeah. like that three minutes of. or something. There's I'm like, a yo, the dude that still hasn't gotten out of bro. it. He's like black and he sees black and white and shit, and everything's like shaky. Bro, young that's gra- just how he has to live his life now because it went bad. Young gravy, he has a like a dab pen of DMT mm-hmm. now. Like you can start getting it in dab pens. It's but, like, for microdosing, he said, but I'm like, ain't have no you, way. Have you heard about, because uh, Rogan, he talks about this, uh, like, the machine elves. 
Like the entities mm. that that come to you, have you heard about that? Like what? That, like elaborate, when you're elaborate. in this other dimension. So it's like what? It's so like your got... chair up over here. You just keep getting. Ever since I've been here, he's gotten farther back. It's because you smell <laughs> like shit, bro. <laughs> I smell good. I just smell good. I know. I compliment it. He actually smells delightful. All right. <laughs> you get a pass Hold this that time. A little closer, just in case. Yeah. Your little yellow mustard but bumblebee no, looking but, uh, motherfucker. No, they say it's like a. Uh, they call them interdimensional beings or whatever. Yeah, and there's and, like and, a guide. And they, and they, yeah, and they, and some of them, some people call them machine elves because they, they say that's the best way to describe them. It looks like this mechanical thing, but it's an organic thing, but it's a, this interdimensional thing. And this goes back to the the people, the Native Americans who used to do right, this right, shit. Right, yeah. And it's supposed to be like, spiritual. Right, right. We're doing the dances so and shit, just bro. That, it's just that guy that you're leading. That's that's your say. Like you have all these people that are trying to like lead you down the wrong path and you don't follow them but that one person well, you well some of it they say i mean because a lot of it they say it's about uh getting rid of your ego so a lot of that is from what i've hear oh like humble it take me a long fucking time to get through that yeah place. yeah <laughs> but but that's why the, that's what they say like a lot of the bad trips really are you fighting the ego like you gotta let that shit go, you know yeah. what I mean? Okay. And that's what I'm scared of, cause I, I mean, I'm, I'm a comic. You so take the fucking trash out. You take the fucking trash out. Yeah, to just be in front of a mic, like, like hey, shit's hey shit's mother, the shit I'm saying makes sense. So yeah, I, it's but but that's where the that's where the learning is. They got like people who got PTSD who've been to war and shit. They take it because it's right, some right, of the right. only shit that can. Like uh, make the synapses in your brain go That's back a huge to normal. Word. Yeah, Damn. yeah. I need to start. I need to start. I need to start getting baked and watching some science shit, bro. Yeah, that's the shit, man. I used or, to like watching the- stuff on the galaxies and stuff because I'm like, what is beyond us? You <laughs> ever see? Uh, you ever see uh, the thing? It's a, a math thing called a, a Mandelbrot set. Huh. Uh-uh. So it's like uh, it's 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 a math thing where it's it's infinity, but it's in a finite amount of space. I, I, when this is over, I'll, I'll look it up. That's some <laughs> trippy shit to look at. This guy, it it, it, it they named it after him because they found it like in the seventies. It's really really simple math, but they were only able to do it once they had computers because the numbers are so big right. that humans couldn't calculate it. But it's very simple math. But then when they put it into a uh, geometric shapes. You could do a zoom in and like you keep zooming into this image and like a lot of people stare at shit like that when they go into a trip or they feel like they're in this. Okay. But it's it's fucking crazy because it's it's infinity but it's in a finite amount of space. So it's oh. like like a universe being in Holy something that big. Shit. It's really weird. Like you can look it up like That's where you get like uncomfortable with like what's reality. And oh my reality. god, you're yeah, you're lost. Bro, man. I've seen a thing that trips me out is like, you know, there's like more beyond uh beyond. <laughs> beyond? Yeah, I'm thinking, <laughs> He's trying to start talking. He's trying to talk smart real quick. Well, no, like I seen uh Rogan talked about this. It's like a map like that was found and it's like there's more to us, like there's more than what the continents we actually have. Like it's like the Antarctica and what's a you know, Are you the talking other about one. on Earth? Yeah, oh, like shit. there's like, oh, like more lost of, continents and shit. Yeah, like, like that. there's like more to it than what we've like discovered. And well, stuff. they had that. They they used to call the one uh, Mu, Mu or Lemu or whatever. It connected like uh, in the India to parts of Asia and Australia. Like it used to be a landmass there, and they said they think that's how people got to Australia like back in the day, and then it sunk into the. Or or you got like a do- what do they call it Dogger Land, which is between. Uh, Great Britain and France, like it was an island oh. over there, and that sunk and shit. That, dude, you go down and fuck. No, yeah, bro, that's what I'm it's saying, crazy, bro. It's crazy you're talking about uh, that because I heard two theories that were crazy to me. The thought of it was one was like back in the day, the world was so, or the Earth was so much bigger, and there was so much more there. But those sunken uh, continents are our ground, like not our ground necessarily, but like it just kept getting sunk in and our earth just kept shrinking and we're the only ones left Yeah. from however long this earth has been here, but yeah. you didn't know. That makes but like, sense to what we're finding. There used to, yeah, there used to be like, yeah, 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 where you're finding so much in the deep ocean and shit where you're thinking like, 
like Atlantis and shit like that. We're like all that crazy all stuff. All these cities and shit, bro. Like the oh sunken city God. was bro. actually a whole continent. Bro. Or like the the pole shift things. Are they saying that they saying that's happening the, again? Where the, where the magnetic pole switches? And then they had the one theory that even Einstein agreed with that the entire thing could shift. Because they're saying that's like Antarctica used to be in a part where it was more temperate and tropical, and then it shifted, and that's why it's at the bottom. But if that ice were to ever melt, you would see. Because they were saying uh, that's why, like, uh, some of those woolly mammoths and other uh, animals that they found that they literally got froze to death, like they had food in their mouth, and then they just froze, and they were like, what happened to all these animals? That's that, that's that, that's getting Bro. into that. Uh, Randall Carlson, younger, driest type shit. Bro, some uh, the crazy. The end of the last ice age and whatever right, right, right. cataclysm and happened. And, uh, that, then I get, I get, I get, I get, that, that gets back to a whole nother world. It's like, how fucking scary can it get? Where what's reality and what's like an actual, what used to be. And like, you just don't want to process that shit. Bro. It's like, you're like, ah, I'm, I'm cool on that. I'm cool that's on that. You got to talk to the machine elves, man. Bro, it's that's like, what I'm saying. Bro, you got to hold them by the hand. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Real quick, did you want to leave at the top of the hour or at 30? Uh, where are we at? We're about like four minutes from the top of the hour. Uh, Top is probably easier. Cause easier, okay. Yeah, okay, you want to okay. get some grub. Oh, yeah, I want to yeah, ask you yeah. real quick, because I don't know if these guys already ran it in there. Usually for the guests, we ask them. We, or we have fans ask us uh, questions every week. Oh, no, we didn't and do that. We've been just having a good time. Yeah, yeah. You know, cracking beers. You know, we made a little yeah. pun on it. Gotcha. And so... What we do when we have guests on is we immediately just throw it at you with no context in between where you can ask us any question that you want. Yeah. Bad, good, anything in between, and you just run it. So what question, what cracking question do you have for Boogered Up? Uh, for all three of you or yeah, just yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what are your what are your plans? Like if okay, so if you had uh say you had a Joe Rogan situation, like a Spotify thing where somebody came to you and you had uh a backing, a financial backing to just take this podcast to however you wanted to do it. Right. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Money isn't an object. You ain't got to worry about your job. You ain't got to worry about time, cameras. We got you. What is the what is the set and setting? Would you stay here? Would you want to take this somewhere else? There's very different answers would, between the two would you that wanna, originally started this. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, well, like, these, like, like, like all that. Are we staying here I'll in, let you go first in Ohio? Sure, Are we staying with the oh. crew? Will we want to? Oh, you saying we dropping motherfuckers? I want to. I want to. Stupid whore. No, I, I, no, but I, I want to know it all. Right. And if, Rosetta. If money's not an object and you're going to be projected and, 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 and this platform is going to be everywhere, what, what, what would you do? Uh, you go first. I'll let you go first. For that. I'd, I would. So I would stay around here. Keep. You know, everybody, because we all made this. And obviously what that person came to us, because all of the people here have been doing something that brought that to their attention. Right. So I would take, like, and build our own, like, studio. Like, you walk in, and it's, like, a crazy good studio with the best equipment. And, like, a little switch I can just f hit, and, you know, smoke goes outside. I can smoke inside, and... <laughs> That's all I really want. That's all want. he focused on is big, big spot and finding somewhere he can actually smoke it. Some more weed, man. <laughs> That's crazy, though, because <clears throat> way back prior we were talking about this shit. He kept talking about, like, if we blew up and we were making money like that, we can go to New York. We can go to Florida. We can go to California. I mean, yeah, that's an option, he but, like, we could. This. I thought he was. That's a, that's a crazy answer. But, like, no, like, I've, like, humbled myself. I'm like, no, Good, I okay. like what we got around here, you know. Like, right. I like it. You know, this I, land yeah, we could build. You're the product of where you. You came from, so well, why yeah. change that? This is what's get, most major. We got, yeah. this, I would get out of the small town, which yeah. is one of the things. Cause like, yeah. Man, as much as like you came from not too far away, but you yeah. traveled a little bit, but it's hard for people like a bigger, bigger, like like Texas and Florida, New yeah, York, yeah. those people that want to come that like, they're like, oh, I have to go to this very small town and like randomly just go into like this person's basement or whatever. Yeah. And like, oh, like this is kind of on this fly, like whatever. So it would make it a little appealing for people. Like maybe have a big-ass McDonald's sign, but it's boogered up right outside. Yeah. Have that kind of deal. Dope, dope. But uh, no, I'd definitely be around here. I'd probably move to a bigger city in Ohio, but yeah. I want to – like maybe outside of that city. Yeah. Because cost so we, of living is Yeah, yeah, nice yeah. The here. best of both worlds. You're, you're in a metropolitan area, but you're not like smack in the middle to where you just hate your neighbors. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. Set, the set for it? 
think I think it kind of be like the vibes that we give here. Yeah, honestly, I would I wouldn't want to change a thing with what we got yeah, here. I'd want I to want, take everything and move it there. I want that set to be at least like twenty five thousand dollars worth. I want that shit to be like Yeah, fine. but I still I want, want all that, this stuff. I want stuff. it to be like an actual fire yeah. behind us at all times. Oh, yeah. shit. But it don't make noise. Like, yeah. I want that shit to... I, I want, want that crackling. I want a fucking <laughs> tiger on the ground with the head right there. Yeah. So I want to just... That, that you bitch. walk in and you're like, did y'all win the fucking lottery and decide to just get stupid? Can we have like a like, fuzzy well, walls and shit too? Then? I want I want people to walk in. <laughs> I want purple walls. The main idea for what we created. <laughs> well, life slips you a Jeffrey stroke. Yeah, stroke the purple <laughs> wall. <laughs> the main idea when we created this one was this like all? the it's vibes a, wanted don't be scared to be of a Jeffrey. Thing like you're going like you know how when you go to the casino and such you're like you don't know what time it is like you right. can keep it down here forever. That's like I want it to be a thing where like you can be down here for five hours. You feel like you've been here for 15 minutes. Yeah, you know, like, I won't yeah like that's a, why when you said something to me about time, I'm like, like, what time? I'm like, like it's I don't, now. I don't even want to know what time it is. It's I was now. like, yo, I want like a whole kitchen in there and a fridge. I right, answer that shit up, Cody Ray. Then we got to get him out of here. He's a busy man, you know? No, it just depends on what everybody else would want to do, I guess. But like everybody wants to stay around here. But I agree with you. Like go to a bigger city, get like a bigger studio and just do it full time. Like produce sure. as much content as we can yeah and, and start branching off more than just like podcasts yeah doing like, skit more skits like just doing now really quick now i know like people always like you know favorite guests which so i'm gonna say like who would be your first or even second guest but like third or fourth guest anybody you well if want. we got that spot like yeah, we're yeah, able to yeah. like financially bit anybody on yeah there. yeah yeah Damn, who's like the third and fourth? That's a fucking tough one. And, and, and oh. not like kicking somebody in the dick, but you know, like we'd always like to see a big, you know, either our favorite comedian or right, sports right, right, guy. Right. So outside of those, just somebody like. That's a lot. I love that fucking So question. outside of like a comedian and stuff like that? Or maybe a comedian, but but just not the obvious ones. That right. Not, 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 not your you Chappelle's and your Rogan's no, and your Theo. Louis C.K.'s oh, and stuff like that. I did a thousand yeah, yeah, yeah. Theo Vaughn? A thousand yes, percent, bro. That would be hilarious. I just went down a Theo Vaughn rabbit hole. That Dude, it's fucking hilarious. I, dude. I just learned about him about a month ago, and ever since then, bro, I'm like, this guy is just wired to another level. Yeah. It's so good. That's what I love his, about him, bro. The way he uses language. And, I love and, it. And, and his wordplay. Oh. How, he, how he talks when he was talking about living with somebody as soon as they <laughs> left, and he went and laid in there. He's like, you ever laid in a warm man's spot in his bed, <laughs> yeah, man? Bro, <laughs> you ever laid in a, man, you ever laid in a man's it's warm? It's pretty warm for you. <laughs> bro. <laughs> It's like it wasn't gay, but I, I laid in another man's warmth, <laughs> and it really, it really takes you to that. Like, and you're like, oh, damn, bro, I have laid in another man's warm bed. <laughs> uh, I did that with my girl because I slept on the couch, and she got up and went to work for the day, and I, I went and got in the bed, and it was still warm, and I was like, hey, <laughs> I was like, hey, yo, you back to that? <laughs> I didn't know we had a heating blanket. I didn't yo, even know. <laughs> Land her warm. Oh, but no, who would yours be? Man, outside of Theo, outside, though. No, outside of Theo. Okay, yeah. I would say, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Mm. That's a damn good That's question. a very good question, bro. Oh, man. I think I... Oh, I think I... Think I, I think, think I would that. want that uh, Rife. Mike, Matt Rife. Matt Rife, okay. Yeah, that Dayton guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Or he's... I think he's from Cleveland, ain't he? I think he just saw he was from. Day- I just saw he was in Dayton. That's why I think I said that. I don't think he's. I don't even know if he's from Ohio. I don't think he's from Ohio. I thought he was from Ohio. Is he? You know, I, wife, dude, I don't know. Dude's booming pretty fucking good. He actually just hosted the AVNs. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Uh, oh. he, I'm like lucky. Top of the world, man. <laughs> crazy. I, I'm giving I, him a fist bump. He just can't do it back. You know? I think legit. I think I would pick Maddie Matheson. Is that bigger dude from Chicago oh, with a yeah. mustache? Dog, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. love his vibe. I love his yeah. mask. I love everything about that. I know what you're talking about. He's on the Bear, bro, and the whole time watching the Bear, there's also oh, that dude. I love that it's show. Uh, it's a guy from uh, Shameless. <laughs> yeah, He's yeah. He's a cook. Yeah. Love the role he plays on it, but the whole time Maddie is not a fucking cook. And yeah, he's like their maintenance I'm man, right? Sure. I'm fixing the <laughs> toilet. Yeah. Every episode, I'm like, give him a fucking knife. I want to see this man <laughs> work on I a watch TV him show. on YouTube. I, I saw him Bro, make a pho. Uh, oh, no, it was ramen. Yeah, yeah. He's the bomb, dude. And he I, yells I would go, everything. I would, oh, yeah. I would, I would love that. Matt, yeah, yeah, he would be awesome, dude. Who, who, who's your who would third, you pick? third, third, fourth? That's such. A, that say, might be my favorite question that somebody's asked. Because everybody knows who's like who they yeah, absolutely yeah, 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 want, yeah, yeah. but but that's a good one. Yeah, uh, somebody like uh, Seth Rogen or uh, yes. who's the, Kenny Powers? What's his name? Oh yeah, from yeah, uh, yeah, yeah uh, Letter Kenny. 
No, 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 no. He's talking about the actor. I don't know. I don't know. Up, uh, uh, yeah. up on, eastbound and down. Yeah. yeah, yeah What's yeah, that yeah. dude's name? Danny? Danny, Danny McBride. Danny McBride, Danny McBride. Yeah. Yeah, 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 bro. Yeah, yeah. Like, I feel like that would be just like a... That's a good dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that'd oh, be shit. a good one. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, man. Oh, that. Thank you for those. That yeah, was, bro. That legit was my favorite yeah. question. That made me think about it for sure. Yeah, bro. That was awesome. Damn. Uh, well, guys, oh, we're going to get out of here. We got a busy man here. Do some mm-hmm. shows and shit. Do everything else he has to do. Uh, let these people know where they can find you uh, live and on social media. Uh, John Armstrong Comedy on uh, Instagram, and then I got a new website, John Armstrong Comedian, www.johnarmstrongcomedian. All of my dates are there, what I'm doing, and it's growing, too. It's a bare bones of a website, so don't judge me, internet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting there. But yeah, just getting out here, doing some more dates, meeting up with good people, doing some podcasts, yeah. showing Ohio love. And just getting out here living our truth. I love that. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, man. <laughs> Appreciate you stopping I've, in. Dude, been here half an episode, and I can already tell that this episode was a banger. Yeah. I had a good time, man. Oh, yeah. Uh, we talked about splooging and shit. You, know. you guys were talking about splooging? You weren't I here. I on that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Can't wait to listen back on it. Was it was a porn-heavy episode. It was a porn-heavy episode. <laughs> <laughs> I think I found out the title. <laughs> love it. <laughs> all right, guys. Make sure you guys are liking, yes, subscribing, sir. doing all that crazy stuff. And we'll catch you guys next Friday. Peace. Peace. Shut up. Shut up.